We're live. Everybody, can we hear us? Hello. Hi. Okay, I think they can hear us. Well, thank you guys so much for um, <clears throat> being on the live again. How exciting, you know, we're getting ready for our Lord Jesus to come and it's just awesome just to be able to fellowship with everybody and talk about all that we've, you know, all that's happened this week. And um, we're all here together and we're so glad you guys are here. And um, Cassie's going to start us off with um, our prayer. And um, so, Cassie. All righty. Father, we just come before you and we just praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We just we just love you so, so very much. And we pray, Abba, that you just be with us tonight and be our hands and our feet, be our mouthpiece. We pray that only your truth goes forth with all authority in the name of Yeshua. We pray against any evil spirits, any lying tongues, any evil tactics from the enemy right now in the name of Yeshua. And we just cast it back to the pit in which it's come with nothing to be sent in its place. We pray for a holy blessing over every single person watching this live stream, even now or even before or later in the future. We just pray a special blessing over them. We ask, Abba, that you just open eyes and ears so that they may see and hear. We ask that you soften hearts so that they may just receive the seeds, the message. Mm -hmm. We love you and we praise you in Yeshua's mighty and precious name. Amen. 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 Kathy, you have the list. I don't have it in front of me. So will you be our spokesperson? You, oh, me? Your, me you have? your messages. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess we're going to go with this um, magnetics. And, uh, are you next, Jess? Sure. I don't know. I was, I was sorry. I would have been a little more prepared. <laughs> Guys, I'm on like two hours of sleep. Okay, Jesus, let me just say, amazing. I cannot believe you showed up in my backyard last night. Guys, I am just blown away. And what's amazing is the fact that like, I didn't know, I couldn't see anything when I was out there filming. And then I took a picture of it and there was no storm, no rain, nothing. And it was completely clear and it was dark. My picture made it look like it was lighter, but it, it was, it was dark because it was a night, night mode. But I started videoing and the more and more, I mean, I, I, I was out there for like 20 minutes, just mesmerized by the light show. And I was just blown away and then when I got in you know I hadn't checked any comments yet I didn't even realize like TikTok was totally scoffing me as far as like I had 25,000 views on a video and it went kind of viral and everyone's like no one knows the day or the hour no one knows the day I mean just over and over again I didn't know that was happening but Jesus knew he knew and so that just picked me up so much because man when I looked at this video and what I was doing was I was cropping it. I was just trying to like shorten it and stuff and do like different little clips. Amazing. I started just doing the little dial and I was like, oh, what is that? But you know, what's so crazy guys is the fact that like, I didn't see it at first. It's almost like it evolved and it kept evolving. Like at first, all I saw was a little bit of someone praying, you know, I was like, oh, wow, there's someone praying. And then I saw the dragon literally like you could see the dragon it was so cool and then mckenna pointed out oh my goodness do you see the lion on the left and then i saw the lion i was like oh my gosh this is so cool and then if you look closely if you dig in with the lion you can see people floating up like rapture and it looked just like my dream that i had with all the people floating up and sometimes when i close my eyes i see like little lights of jesus you know coming up so it's kind of cool um but that like I said I was just I couldn't sleep I was so excited because Jesus appeared in front of me and that's never happened other than you know that one vision where I had where I saw my dad get taken away by an angel I've never had other experiences like that so I was just blown away and I have more footage um that I'm probably 
going to edit probably tomorrow because I'm on two hours of sleep and I don't even know how I'm functioning right now. Um, but God, <laughs> good. <laughs> so just um, we're, she's going to get into the magnetic field stuff. So I've actually had a lot of magnetic <clears throat> messages, which is really crazy because I don't know anything about magnetic pulses. Um, I know there's some like EMP. Are you talking about the EMP or are you talking about like the magnetic, like the solar storm? Jess. Well, I, that was just kind of like a little bonus thing, but it's just about EMP, you know, possibly, um, you know, what the, exactly that means. Some people okay. Well, so I think most of these um, people on here have probably seen the messages, you know, from today. Um, if not, I can read today's message. But I will tell you um, what's amazing is the the revelation the Lord gave me last night was about Daniel 12. So it all started with Daniel 1 at first because Cassie, when we were trying to find out the clues of the, and we'll get into that later, but he spoke the word um, X and Cassie's like, what is that, 10? <laughs> and so we weren't really sure what it was. Um, but then I started reading Daniel one and the Holy spirit jumped out at me and said, 10, 10, my child, look at this. So I was reading it backwards and it's so cool. The fact that God is so complex and so amazing that he wrote the entire Bible where you could read it forward and backward and get like a whole new revelation. And so the way you read it backwards is you do it by sentence, not by words. So you do the last sentence. And when you find the period, that's where you read it from. Then you go to the next period and to the front of that one. And then you read that sentence. And so I tried it the first time last night. I tried it without even reading the message to see if it worked. Like a charm, man. It was amazing. I was like, wow, Jesus really is speaking. Because, you know, you're human. So you're just like... Sometimes, you know, you, you doubt things, but, um, but anyway, so <clears throat> the magnetic thing, um, God started giving me a little bit of a message today about that. Um, as far as like, I think there's going to be like some rainbow colors coming, um, something to do with, um, seismic activity. And he's, <laughs> he's talked about seismic activity because of the gravity pool before. And I don't really know how any of that is going to go about. I just kind of read his words. And, um, but as far as that, um, a lot of people had some confusion on the darkness, the EMP. God told me that rapture happens, then the electronic magnetic or the EMP happens. Um, and that's when darkness falls. And what's amazing is, well, we'll get into that more, you know, so really, I mean, my two revelations that I'll talk without reading the message, unless you want me to read the message and then read it backwards so you can see I can do that real quick I'll do that real quick um right. so I learned that Daniel was okay what does it say in Daniel uh I'm full of Daniel 12 it talks about sealing the end times okay until the end times are going to be revealed and Jesus said this is what's in the seal, not, not just us, but all the people speaking in his name that he's appointed to are part of the end times that is locked up in Daniel, which I was like, whoa, that makes so much sense. And so he said the date and the time is also in that prophecy as well. And another thing when everyone kept saying, because I, so I prayed really quick. I said, Jesus, I said, why? I sat there and I was like, you know, if, if you can't, if we can't know the time or the hour, the day or the hour, I was like, why would you give it to me? I know you spoke to me the date. Why would you give it to me? And he said, my child, he said, man doesn't know the day or hour, but the spirit knows the day or the hour because it's a spiritual thing. If you're not walking in the spirit, you're not going to know. But he reveals things in the spirit, whether it's a vision, whether it's a prophecy, whatever. He is always revealing stuff in the spirit. But that's why John walks in the spirit because he sees the end of the world and what's going to take place. It always says John is in the spirit. Then if you look at the seven churches, it says in the spirit um, who have ears to hear, 
It's all about being in the spirit. And a lot of people have missed that because they're, they're so focused on just false doctrine, you know, trying to work to get to heaven and, and not, not realizing that, you know, God, Jesus died on the cross already for us. He paid the sin, you know? So I think people get too focused instead of just, you know, relaxing with Jesus and realizing he's going to change your mind. He renews your mind. He renews your heart, gives you a new heart of flesh and gets rid of the heart of stone when mm -hmm. you come to him, but you have to come to him with full belief in your heart and confess he's Lord, but see, Jesus knows our heart. And that's the whole thing with Jesus, you know? Okay. And that's what he's been teaching me. So I'm just going to read a little bit of it. And I'm going to show you how it goes either way. And it's just like the Bible, which is amazing. And you can do a little bit of the Bible too on, on Daniel one. Um, so, okay. I'm going to read just half the paragraph. Okay. And then I will read it the other way. My child, chaos and destruction, nukes, my child, nukes. The enemy has already set a date. It's soon, my child, it's soon. My door is open for the ones who believes in me. The feast is being prepared, tsunami coming. It's going to affect the East Coast. When the nukes go up, you go up. Lots of chaos and destruction after. Now, I will say, guys, he's talked about nukes a bunch of times, and he told me, you know, which states and previous messages were going to get hit with nukes. But he also said Germany was going to get hit with nukes. So he hasn't set a time frame as far as which ones are going to get hit with the nukes first. So I don't know if Germany is going to get hit or if it's going to be like an all the same time thing. He hasn't revealed that to me yet. Um, okay, so lots of chaos and destruction after great earthquake in California, 8.3, which will sever the map. Tsunami on the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean island. Yellowstone will erupt here in the cities. Calamity in the street. Raged by the people towards the government when martial law commences. All the horror who have ears to hear, let them hear. Time is short. <clears throat> okay, so that's just a little bit of the message. Now watch, I'm going to read it backwards. Time is short. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. All the horror. Raged by the people towards the government when martial law commences. Calamity in the streets. Terror in the cities. Yellowstone will erupt. Tsunami on the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean island. Great earthquake in California, 8.3, which will sever the map. Lots of chaos and destruction after. When the nukes go up, you go up. It's going to affect the East Coast. Tsunami coming. The feast is being prepared. My door is open for the ones who believes in me. It's soon, my child, it's soon. The enemy has already set a date. Nukes, my child, nukes. My child, chaos and destruction. So, guys, I don't know about you, but I've never read anything backwards that just flowed like that. So, God, and that's the same way in the Bible, you can read it forward and backwards. And that's what he means when he says it's he has double meanings because he speaks in parables and riddles where he says um, first and last and also beginning and the end. He's showing that. Um but yeah, so <clears throat> that's pretty much it, unless you guys want to know something else about the messages. Um, if we'll get into the rapture and all the, the good stuff. <laughs> it's up, it's up for you, Jess. Okay, I guess I'll talk about the signs. Um, let me just share my screen. Uh, no, no, press no. Okay, share screen. Um, is that working? I think so. Okay, so the first one I wanted to talk about is that I think a lot of people were still, we've been getting a lot of, um, well, Mandy, you know, said February 15 and this and that. And so I want to talk about February 15. This is actually why Mandy and I met originally. And um, so February 15, Jesus said he was coming on February 15. Okay. And so remember the day after Mandy said, um, Jesus then told her, um, you know, look up the definition of coming. And so I did a whole video. I really recommend to go on my channel to check that out. 
but basically on February 15, um, it's the true midnight. Okay, so if you if you consider the Maseroth as like a time clock with the 12 hours, then true midnight, um, if you look at the sun, like I told you guys, and you watch when the sun goes exactly, the center of the sun is exactly on the meridian. Okay, so exactly on, I think it's the north, that, that's the north line, but the, the meridian is basically a line that goes all the way from north to south, and it's perpend it's perpendicular to the equator okay and when the sun is like it's below the horizon and so because that's midnight and when it's exactly in, in the middle of the meridian then you know it's true midnight and so if you look at it every single night it changes all right and um and so uh the entire year the 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 february 15 time period when the um sun is at true midnight at 11.53, okay? Um, interesting that 53 is coming up actually. Um, that's only, it's only during that time. It's only during mid-February. And so the rest of the year, basically there's, um, basically the sun does a figure eight in the sky over the course of the year. And so as you, like, as you can see by that, it's in a different position constantly. And so the only time it's at the right position for it to be 11.53, is mid February. And so if you calculate it like with that to see how long into a month, how long into the moon cycle that 1153 would be, it would be um the equivalent. I'll just tell you guys because I, I put it here. This is a quick summary. And if you don't, if you're not understanding, just check out my video that I, I told you guys about. Um, it'll really encourage you. But that that calculation to find find it out would be 25.6, 25.616. Okay, so if you rounded it to one decimal point, it'd be 25.6. That's 25.25.6 into one moon cycle. Okay, and so the, the amazing thing about that is that what's the verse of the midnight cry? It's Matthew 25, 6. Okay, so even to two decimal points or even three decimal points, you could say it matches it matches per which is like a statistical anomaly to me because if you if you even change the numbers even like a little bit it's always different numbers and so let alone uh, three decimal points like correct if you round it right and so please watch my video and watch the one after that and you'll know what i mean we don't want this live stream to be too long but basically there is a huge beauty in February 15. It's like a statistical anomaly. February 15, the date itself matches the midnight cry. Okay. And so this is why I was presenting this idea that February 15 is the midnight, what was the midnight cry. And so if you read the verse, it says, there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh. And so it's saying, if you actually look into the original Greek, it's implying somebody, like a voice cried out. Okay. It's not saying who, and it's saying, behold, as in look, not like behold, right? Behold, look, the bridegroom cometh. And that's exactly what Jesus says. Because if you click, I recommend to do this, look at this verse, look at cometh and the original Greek, the word cometh means it's a start. It's not that they're already there. And remember, if you guys watch a great, um, a great movie called Before the Wrath, all right, J.D. Farag has talk, talked about it. You see that in the ancient Galilean wedding, the bridegroom would, you know, he would begin his journey making all sorts of noise. And, you know, he's letting all the townspeople know that the wedding is now. So they wake up and they come out and a time passes before the bridegroom arrives in front of the bride's house. Okay. And then she's lifted up and this is a very like rapture scenario, but it just shows you that between the midnight cry and between the rapture, there is a time period. Okay. And so this is the first sign that I wanted to talk about. So a lot of people are saying, you know, February 15, oh, should remember that? Well, yeah, that was not what we expected, but it was still from God, clearly, because this is, um, to me, like this whole mathematical statistical anomaly is, um, it's a huge sign from God. It had to have been curated by God from the very beginning. And so the second witness in the heavens is right here. Message on it too. Is what? He gave me a message on it too. So when yes, you and it, he yeah. confirmed it too. Okay. And so you see the second witness in the heavens right here. You can see at the bottom. Oh, it's 722. Well, here. 
Yeah. <laughs> 17, okay. 22 all day. Nice. All day. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Okay. And so as you can see, I'm just looking at midnight. That's that's what I've told you guys. It's the classic time to look in the heavens if you don't have a sp specific time. Um, because that's when traditionally men would be looking up at the heavens and considering more than their daily lives. Okay. And so the location is in Jerusalem. It's on, as you can see here, it's February 15. And so what happens is I, unfortunately, I don't know, know how to put the uh, boundaries on, on Stellarium web, but Venus enters into Pisces on this day. Exactly. And so what then happens is Venus goes up to Jupiter and Jupiter moves very slowly. Venus moves very quickly because Venus is very close to earth. It's next over to earth. Okay. And so Venus then moves to Jupiter and they have their kiss. And if you guys remember, many, many people were taking pictures of this. It was like all over the internet, non-Christians, Christians, everyone, everyone was talking about this kiss. People say, oh, this happens every year. It happens every year, but not this close. Um, you know, sometimes it's directly on, which is really cool. It's called an occultation, but it was still so close and it looked like a kiss. And if it was on directly on, then, which is rare, yes, it's, it wouldn't be considered a kiss. So that was very beautiful. It was like the bridegroom and the bride are kissing. And then Venus continues on and goes into Gemini. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know Gemini represents rapture. It represents resurrection which is which is really cool and so another thing about this um time this jupiter venus and pisces okay the fish never mind the pagan names for it okay we don't care about the pagan names we're just using them for ease of understanding okay so what's really interesting is on this exact day jupiter's um i think it was au i just don't want to tell you guys the wrong information so hold tight jupiter's au was i'm sorry i don't remember the decimal was but you guys can check but it basically was five six three okay so if you look at five five six three in strongs it's lamb which is amazing because the lamb of jesus represents when he was slain on the cross as the passover lamb and this you know jupiter represent like i've said in my videos jupiter specifically represents jesus because you have the um great red spot on the side you have the stripes okay so he was striped you know with the whip and he was um poked in the side with the spe uh, the spear so which is really cool and then um oh of course this uh menu is oh, there we go okay then when you look up 44 it's fish hook which is really cool because you got pisces and you got the fish and they're they're tied okay these these fish are tied which is really cool and then and then you have um venus and venus is so venus is bride right and so the au is what was 144 which we know is the sealed you know it's the the bride we're sealed in a way we are not the 144 remnants that will be left over that will be sealed through the tribulation but in a way we are sealed but we're sealed in christ with the holy spirit which is really cool so I thought that was really beautiful. That was the second witness to February 15. Okay. And there's more about Fe February 15, but let me go to the next sign. So this is the second sign. Okay. And this one's specifically talking about the date that we, we're, we're, we've been discussing, which is, you know, May 22nd. And so I just did it on my time zone, but this is really Jerusalem at the, the you know, uh, what is it? 1853. Okay, so that's military time for 6 p.m., 6.53 p.m., okay? And so right here, as you can see, um, this is zero degrees. This means it's exactly the uh, equate, not equator, horizon. I'm sorry, guys. I think I said equator earlier. I meant horizon. Okay, so you can see this star right here. This is This is part of, let me zoom out a tab. We're right at the equator, ah, oh, the horizon. So we're in the scales. So as you can see, three of the brightest stars of the scales right here are the three that make up the main part of the scales, okay? And so this one is right at the horizon at eight, um, 6.53 p.m. Jerusalem time. And so what happens is if you go by one minute, it rises above, 
Okay. And so I was like feeling led by the Holy Spirit. And I was like, which, you know, what in the Maserat, what in um, space, you know, what moves per minute? Okay. And like nothing moves per minute really, except for, except for this, except for the stars at the horizon. Okay. That would be the only significant happenings that would happen like in one minute. And the really amazing thing is these two, as you can see here, these two stars, um, they, they're they named, it's named um, Southern Claw and Northern Claw. And so in ancient times, they believe this claw or these stars were part of the claw of, um, of the scorpion. Okay. It was an extension in a way. So that's why you call it the, like, that's why they call the, the scorp, we call the scorpion, the accuser. Okay. And so this one star down here is really cool because it's actually called, I think it's called, sorry, it's in Arabic. So it's called scorpion's claw. And so it's unique. It's funny. And it's also interesting because it's very red. And what do we know? Like, what does that mirror, you know, Mars with sin and being the, um, planet of war and the god of small g of war right and so this really brought to mind mandy's message where she talks about how the wages hit the highest peak at the rapture and she was like she had, she was given this revelation and i just thought it was like the perfect representation and here's the coolest thing so you might be like oh this is, i don't know about this but okay so you can see in this screen there's starlink satellites and these starling satellites move very very quickly like even one second it will totally go out of view okay so if you go let's go back again to the 6 53 p.m if you go here at the exact minute you'll see there's a starling here and it's 3783 and so i just felt like actually it was because of mckenna i was inspired by mckenna and I searched it on Strong's. And this is what's pretty mind-blowing, okay? So these Starlinks, like, they go kind of random. They are um, they launch at, it doesn't say here, unfortunately, but they do launch at, like, very random dates. And so the two Starlink satellites meeting at once is very random, okay? And so what is the likelihood that the two satellites that would meet mean the same thing? Okay, so let's look at this one on Strong's, 3783, okay? And what does it mean? It means sin. And so unfortunately I'm using uh, Stellarium Web, but I really recommend to go to, um, go to this time, go to Jerusalem, go to the scales and go to the horizon on your own. And you'll see there's a second, there's a second satellite, Starlink, and it's right about, let me just, unfortunately, I can't, I don't know why it doesn't show up here. I don't have many options on this one because it's a free version, but it's about right here. Okay. And this one is 2408. It's Starlink 2408. So, you know, feel free to look that one up if you don't believe me. But if we look at 2408, it also means sin. And so this is like really crazy. This is a statistical anomaly. I know some of you are probably might be having like a hard time to follow what I'm saying, but this is amazing. Like just two random satellites, they meet at the same time in one minute, right at the minute that we've been talking about. We're talking about um, the scales. We're talking about the wage of sin and how it's like reached its highest peak and it's rising now right at this time. And they're both sin, which is pretty amazing. And the last one is many of you guys, you know, have been emailing us about this, uh, which is Tyra. Okay. So I talked about in the last live stream, how Tyra means door in Greek. And so I'm going to show you what happens. This is what I was talking about. We're here February 1st and I'm, I just put in the time. So it's one eight five three, but my time zone. So the equivalent of Jerusalem at 6 53 PM. Okay. So check it out on your own. But what happens is Tyra moves over February and look where it is at February 15. It's at Pallades. And so if you guys follow God a minute, he's talked about, and also Dr. Barry Ah. Um, I think some of the stuff that they say is really amazing. And one of that is that Pallades represents 
the church that is bound up and chained in Taurus. And so I, as if you guys have watched my videos, I talk about how Taurus represents Satan and sin and death and all this, you know, bad things. As you can see the big eye right here, this is 666 light years away from earth and it's fixed and you know, it's the ox and yada, yada. And so Pallades is kind of bound up. And as, as we know from Job 38, it talks about, can you bind the sweet influences of Pallades? And the, it's also 444 light years away from earth. And that's fixed as well. So amazing how this door, right, <clears throat> stops at Pallades, which is the seven churches on February 15. Okay. And then it continues on. I'm, I'm very sorry, guys. This is very... I think that's why he said maybe he's at the door on February. I can't remember. So he's at the door. <laughs> I can't remember. So I, I will tell you guys, when I got those messages, the February 2nd one, which talked about to be Shabbat and February 15th, I did not know at that time, it really wasn't February 15th. I mean, as far as our God's calendar, when he was speaking. So when he says things, a lot of that stuff was patterns and it was for the future. And then because we prophesy in part, he doesn't tell you the whole revelation right away, but I will tell you what he said and what happened to be Shabbat was the day that all of those people, those horrible people, so sad died in Turkey, like 40,000 because of the five earthquakes guys. I didn't know anything about to be Shabbat. I've never even heard of to be Shabbat, but I heard it in my head. And then he told me to look up what cometh meant. And this is what's amazing because everyone was like, oh, you know, she's just back, whatever she's. So I got excited because when God says I'm coming, I'm automatically thinking that's rapture because that's what we would do in our flesh. That's human nature. But I didn't realize what he was saying was cometh. If you look it up, means just beginning or arrived. So he was letting me know because on the 17th, after he said February 15th is my holy day and he said, talked about something about a completion day and I, I I find that interesting since now we're at the 26th 22nd and if you look at 15 from 22 it's seven days so that's not a coincidence either God is very you know he's a God he's gonna always do things in in patterns and stuff and all of that happened. So the ones that continue to mock about it, because I see some some on the chat that constantly mock about it. I love you anyway. Um, but that is because all of that, I mean, that's what took place. It started this. So on the 17th, I was at the gym and I heard contractions. Okay. He said the contractions started my child. And that's when all the messages, they literally... And you know what? Oh, I just got a revelation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> really, after he spoke contractions, that's when like one or two things started to come true. Then the next month, a lot more started to come true. Then the next month in April, they were coming true like really, really quickly within days. You know, the first ones took a couple months. He was actually showing the process of labor, you know, with contractions when they're far apart, when they're closer together. And I got that revelation a little, you know, a while ago about the contractions things, which I thought was amazing. Okay. And um, when God gives me stuff, like I said, I just childlike faith. I hear it in my head. I write it down. Um, and he waits for me to, to write it. I'll, I'll write it. And he start is talking to me and I'll, you know, I'll have to erase something because I misspelled it or whatever. He just stopped. He stops talking and waits. And then when I start typing, it's almost like he takes over. Like I'm a vessel for him, you know, in this moment in time. I don't know. He started doing this to me December 30th. And I'm just, I let it happen um, because I trust. But yeah. I just wanted to go into that. But go back into your signs, Jess. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to clarify some of the comments that I saw. Because no I get those comments all the time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, guys. Again, like I said, I'm. if you look at the bottom, you'll see it's Jerusalem. And like I said, it's Stellarium Web, so all the settings are, like, not as good, okay? But, yes, it says 8.53. This is my time zone, and it would be the equivalent of saying Jerusalem 
1853, which is which is military time for 6.53 p.m., okay? So this is the same time that we're talking about. This is not a different time, all right? Just hopefully that answers some questions and some confusion. This is like saying Jeru Jerusalem, 6.53 p.m. on, um, well, right now we're on May 15, okay? So I'm going to keep going. As you can see, Thy Thyra has gone into Gemini and it's met with, Venus, the bride. And so we know Gemini, again, represents resurrection. And so we're going to continue on and we'll go to the 22nd. This is the day that, you know, Mendy has been talking about. And it's a little glitchy. Come on. A little laggy. Sorry, guys. One more. There we go. Okay. So now you see Thyra. It's right there underneath Venus. The door is there, which is amazing. I mean, Thyra means door, guys. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, and he said, I'm at the door. Yep, and it's not the exact time. It's the exact day in Jerusalem. <laughs> and so, again, if we look at Thyra, uh, it means door right there. You can see. And um, also... And 511 is what I saw in the number right away, which 11 plus 11 is 22. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, yeah, there's so many 22 showing up. And then just the last thing is that this is the word that's used in Matthew 25 10, where it talks about while they then are going away to buy, right? To buy the oil. They didn't have the oil, came the bridegroom, and those those who were ready went in and the, to the wedding feast and the door was shut. Okay, so door is Thyra. That's really cool. That's amazing. That's it's amazing. This is this is that verse right there. The door was shut at the wedding. Yep. Can't just, be that much cooler than that. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, before you go into that really quick, can I just say, guys, we did not find these signs and pick the date. Okay. Jesus, when he came over me, I was sitting in the chair. This was before any of the girls knew the date. He said to me, my child, the rapture is going to be May 22nd. I think he said rapture. I, he's either said rapture, I'm coming. I hope he said rapture. I can't remember now. But he said May 22nd, and you are in the line of David. And I never even um, announced the line. Someone had a dream about that. And I never, ever confirmed that because I didn't hear it from God personally. And I'm very, very serious about what I say because I know how God feels about false prophets and I would never want to say anything or deceive anyone if I didn't think it was from God I would not speak it so because I hadn't had that revelation of the line of David I did not speak it I entertained it and I thought that was really cool that he had a dream that was it but then when God gave me the date he said my child you are in the line of David and he said not only that those girls as well. And then he also confirmed to me recently that the people he has chosen for the end times are in the line of David. And what he did was he said that the lineage crossed over. He actually said it in a message. Then he said, I had chosen them from the very beginning to my purpose. And he gave me Romans 9 11. I'm sitting there on the couch, didn't know anything. I didn't have my Bible in front of me. I always get confirmation scriptures in my head when I pray about it later. And he gave me Romans 9, 11, which says I've chose you from the very beginning or, you know, I don't have the verse in front of me because I don't have things memorized. But um, so he said, but my child, you cannot tell them you have to give them clues. OK, so I did not give them the date. And this is the amazing part. OK, I had the date in my head and I was talking to Jess and Cassie. I think I was talking to Cassie first. But I said, Cassie, I was like, oh, my goodness, Jesus just spoke the rapture date to me. I'm freaking out. Um, I said, and it just confirmed that we were all in the line of David. And I got so excited. And um, she's like, well, what is it? What is it? I was like, I can't tell you. I was like, he said, I can give you clues. And when I tell you the Jesus was so funny that day and friendly and just so playful, I felt like I was in heaven playing with my father, with, with little girls, like childlike faith. It was awesome. And I'll explain that because, so when he gives me the signs, he goes, tell her to count the leaves on the tree. 
And she's like, what? Leaves on the tree, leaves on the tree. And then he said, and tell her not to forget about resurrection day and look at the first Passover. Then he said, um, tell her, um, don't forget about X. And she's like, X, what is X? She's like 10. And I was like, I don't know. So this is the crazy part. So they're all thinking about it. So I'm sitting here on Google because I know the date because he spoke me to me to the date. I, I can't speak right now because I've had like two hours of sleep. But um, so all of a sudden, you know, we're counting, we're counting, we're counting. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to Google it. How many leaves are on a tree? And I Googled it and I saw there was 14 passages or something. So then we saw this one that said the door. And I was like, well, that's interesting. Okay, let's just count that. And let's just see what we get. I think, I don't even remember. I was like, the Holy Spirit literally took over. But I think we got 12. And then all of a sudden, Cassie was like, plus 10, 22. And I was like, you got it. That's what he's got. So all I heard. So she was reading a script. She was reading the scripture, actually, I think from Revelation 22. And it was talking about, this is all I heard. She was in, I didn't even realize what all was really said until after we'd already talked about it. But it was the scripture, Revelation 22, that was talking about 12 manners of fruit on the tree of life. Literally, all I heard was 12 tree. (laughs) That's all I heard. I'm like, plus I don't, I don't, listen, I cannot explain it. I'm, I, I am not that smart. It just, it just clicked. And that's what I said. The Holy Spirit. But hold on. It, it was, that's what I'm trying to say, because he was talking about counting the leaves. I heard 12, I heard tree, and then I knew to add it. That was it. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. So, but what, what was so great about the father, um, about Jesus, that, uh, that moment in time was, I, she was like, come on, Abba, please. Um, this was about the seal. So this was after we got the date. Okay. I, I had already had the date, but after they guessed the date through the sign, we didn't even realize that if you looked at the first Passover, which I think we got the sixth, and then he said, don't forget about resurrection day. So if you count three days, am I right, Jess? Is it the sixth or the fifth? Fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Okay. So when you count the three, you know, the the three days for the resurrection or whatever. So we were adding, I added it and I didn't even know this guys, he spoke the date to me and I didn't even know why. And, and any of the signs matched anything. And that's the most amazing part of it all. Um, But then if you add it, it equals 22. Like when you add the 43rd day, because Jesus gave me a dream. He gave me a dream and he said, I'm coming on the 43rd day. Okay. It was a dream, but the next day he gave me the message. 43 was in the message and he pointed to it. And then he confirmed, he said, I'm coming on the 43rd day in the message. So then we counted and exactly from the first Passover to May 22nd was 43 days. That's one of the signs. Okay. Then, um, Mm -hmm. so how he became playful about the seals. We were trying to get some revelation about the seals. And Abba's or Cassie's like, come on, Abba, come on, Abba, just, just one more sign, one more sign. And you know what he said to me? He said, he's like, no more clues, my child. And then I walked in the grass and, you know, she was all like, okay, okay. And then he goes, okay, I'm feeling generous today. Here's one more clue. It was like that. I mean, God was so funny at that moment. I just never really felt his personality like that before. It was just awesome. And so then it's like he wanted her to have the the revelation because the reason why is because we are at the end, guys. This is why Daniel, he told me this week, we have confirmed Daniel is now not sealed up anymore. He unseals it in the end times. And this is what all this revelation is about. End times, the prophesying, the dreaming, the visionaries, all of that, all the messages. All of that, the rapture date and time wrapped up in Daniel. Okay. And so those were um, one of the signs. And then when Jess told me that it matched the signs of the heavens and Jesus spoke to me a long time ago and he said, when the wage reaches the highest peak, you will go up. So when Jess said the wage is the highest peak, he confirmed it later on. Cause like I said, he'd take 
you know, a few messages before he actually says what he wants me to know. The sin and death in Romans, you know, he confirmed that the wage was sin and death. So then he had also said many will die before the wedding feast, which is why when the nukes go up, we go up. Um, so everything he's been saying literally just confirms all the other messages that he's been saying. Um, and then the, um, so tired. <laughs> um, the, and, and that's, that's pretty much it, you know, as far as the signs go, but I was going somewhere else and my brain's not there. I can't remember where I was going to go now because I've had two hours of sleep. <laughs> You're going to re read, uh, Daniel. Oh, was I going to read Daniel? You know, remember what we talked, we talked about this yesterday. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about the, that Daniel being sealed up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you want to read the Daniel message. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> D to D. I never said I was the smartest cookie in the book. <laughs> and you know what's amazing though? Before before I go in the Daniel thing, guys, you know he's been giving me the mm -hmm. uh what is it, Meshach and Abednego. And he's been giving me those verses so many times. I didn't even know why he was giving it to me. And now I know why, because he was leading me towards Daniel. <clears throat> and then I didn't get the fact that he was trying to show me to reverse the Bible and read it from bottom to the top to get revelation by reading Revelation 22, which is why he said the leaves needed to be counted, which is why you start at Revelation 22 and read it backwards. And then you get whole different kinds of events happening in Revelation, which just blows your mind, totally blows your mind, which is the rapture's first because Revelation 22 talks about getting his bride and the wedding feast and all that stuff. And literally, this is how God explained before I even knew about Revelation 22 starting first. I had an inclination that uh, Revelation was out of order, but I did not know it started first. And how amazing is this? The timelines he gave me, he said, rapture goes up, nukes go up, earthquake, tsunami, all of that. And that literally goes in order with the trumpets and the, the sixth seal. And then he has said darkness is going to fall. He even mentioned Death Rider. I didn't even know Death Rider was in there until I Googled it after I heard it. And that was amazing. But he never said three days. So I don't know if it's going to repeat Exodus or not. He hasn't clarified that. He did say, my child, I never gave you three days. So I feel like maybe it won't be three days just because he had said, I never gave you three days. So why are you saying it's three days? You know, he corrects me when I say something wrong, guys. He does. Like when I said the elect will be deceived, he said, no, my child, the elect may be deceived if it were possible, but it's not possible because you hear me and um, you walk in my spirit and I will lead you to the correct destination. Because, I mean, he didn't say it like that, but I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, okay, so let me get to Daniel. Um, <clears throat> I think Daniel was, was it today's message about being reversed? I don't even know, guys. Um, they all run together because I get so many, but why I'm looking for Daniel, I will tell you though, I didn't realize this, but this is why God has been giving me, um, scriptures like ahead of the other one or confirmations ahead of the verse he wanted me to go to, because he was trying to tell me to read it from the bottom to the top and that his meanings mean more than just what he's been saying. Oh, I'm looking in the March 30th. No wonder I can't find Daniel. That's not it. Okay. <clears throat> but let me just tell you when I say he reads the comments. Okay, that March 30 episode, I was literally on YouTube and somebody had said, Oh, she said something about the animals being safe. So I Googled and my notes and I wanted to look and see where um that message was about the animals. Then the Lord spoke to me and he said, I want you to read that message again. Guys, that message was about the end times and the rapture and the nukes. It was the one I read. <laughs> I did earlier. It was like he knew. Yeah, I mean, obviously he knows in advance, but it's just stuff like that that I cannot explain. Like, how would I know to go get March 30th and it would have the entire ending of what's about to come? Um, <clears throat> stuff that, you know, God would definitely know. All right. So let me get to where he said about Daniel. Okay, let me just read it real quick. Do you guys want to hear it frontwards or backwards or both? 
Both. Now I'm gonna both. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to read messages both ways now. So I'm gonna have to like so many parts. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you the scriptures. I'm not gonna read the scriptures just for time's sake, unless you want me to read them. But first mm -hmm. Second Thessalonians 2 11, Mark 1 9, Philippians 2 12, Exodus 3 11, Amos 3 4, Jeremiah 1 10, 1 Peter 2 9, Daniel 1 5. And then he said, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, the open door, signs in my heaven, signs in my creation, my Maseroth, my time from the beginning. I am coming, my child. Darkness will cover the land. You will see chaos, destruction, and calamity. People will be rioting and looting in the streets. My child, no man knows the day or hour, but the spirit knows what the man couldn't possibly understand. What did I say to the seven churches? I speak to the churches who have ears to hear. Let them hear. The spirit proclaims my coming. The spirit proclaims my rapture. My heart pazo. I am calling you up, child. I told you to keep your eyes on Israel. The son of perdition will rise. The flame, the fire, my chosen ones. My children will be caught up. Seven, my child, seven starts it all. The trumpet will sound. The angels are lining up to blow. And I swear today in the sky, guys, I saw angels. It almost looked like they were gathered around, either about to blow or worship the Lord. It was amazing. Because <laughs> I was singing that song. My God is an awesome God who reigns from heaven above. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Literally, you can sing with me, McKenna, one more time. <laughs> Our God, God is an is awesome God. <laughs> heaven above our God is an awesome God. God I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> I've I only heard it that. on TikTok. <laughs> I literally do not know that song, guys. I only know that one part of the song, and it just will not get out of my head. That one, and then I woke up singing that other one. Um, I have to. <laughs> I have to I have to chime in well after you're done sorry but yeah the Holy Spirit came over me and he showed me where the time is in Daniel 12 because you said that he told you it was in there and I was like wait I didn't see the time in there and then the Holy Spirit like I felt his presence come over during this live and I found he showed it to me oh wow during the live awesome so yeah. when, write it down so when we get to your numbers and decoding and stuff yeah yeah um, <laughs> it's amazing when the spirit comes over you because that happened to me last night guys and and it was late and I'm sitting there decoding the messages and I've never decoded a message before but it's like the holy spirit just took over and I was like okay what did McKenna do and then the, I don't even remember how I did it now um okay so then it says my children will be caught up seven my child seven starts it all the trumpet will sound the angels are lining up to blow I gave you my seven day warning did I tell Noah to get on the boat. Did I tell Elijah he would be raptured? Did Elijah have faith it would happen? My chosen ones are my first fruit. They know I love them and I'm coming to rescue them. The world is about to get very dark. No man has seen. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. If you have eyes to see, let them see. Tsunami, earthquakes, pandemics, martial law famines, one world currency, one world government, bank collapses, no monetary funds, destruction, chaos, missing people, missing children. I told Daniel to seal up my coming until the very end. But now that the end is here, it's all being revealed to you. I told you the end is the beginning and the first will be last. I speak in parables to overshadow the events that are still yet to come. I have chosen my prophets from the very beginning to do my will. Do not scoff at them. Do not mock them. I have a sword coming for the wicked. My door's almost closed. Now is your chance to get on the boat. And this is, guys, he said that already. He said, my child, are you going to swim or drown? Get on the boat. He said that in a previous message like a month and a half ago. <clears throat> I stretch my arms out far and wide and welcome you. I wish for no one to perish. I didn't come to condemn the world. I came to save it. Repent and believe in me. Give me your heart, child. Let me save you. You are saved by childlike faith in my grace. Blessed is he who comes like a child and seeks the kingdom of God. My bowls, my vials, my numbers. I told you to look at the numbers and find my patterns. <laughs> he just confirmed you there. 
if I'm McKenna. Um, everything I say means something. I have hidden meanings to everything. My word is alive and you are watching it now come to life. Are you ready for my movie? Last night was the pre-show. You will see a lot more light and very soon. I told you the skies would be beautiful, but very ominous. I am your rock. I am your salvation. I am your redeemer. I am your rescuer. I am the only way. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Lay your burdens down. I will give you rest. My heart is breaking. Your time is almost up. Did you like my light show? Do not come after my anointed ones. They speak truth. These are my words. I put my words in their mouth. Every word you speak will be the power of the tongue, death, or life. I know your wicked hearts. You prowl around like a lion seeking whom you may devour. You insidious heathen. Now, someone had comment on that, guys. He's talking to the unbelievers there. <laughs> in every message, he talks to unbelievers, believers, or Jews. He has three people in every message. Do not scoff at my anointed ones. Examine your heart, child. Is it wicked? Is it cold? Don't forget, I see everyone's heart. I hear everyone's thought, thoughts. I told you to love your neighbor, not condemn them, not judge them. There is only one judge, and that is me. I chose you before you were born. I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. Get your houses in order. Get your oil lamps full. Don't be a foolish virgin. Be a wise virgin. The groom came and the people slept. Wake up, O oh sleeper. Darkness is going to fall. My children are pure of heart. They love you because I love you. They have my spirit. They hear me calling them home. They are my sheep. Are you my sheep? Do you hear me calling you, child? I am the good shepherd. I am holy. There is no darkness in me. If you are walking in spiritual darkness, you are not practicing the truth. I love you. Believe in me before it's too late. Your Abba, your friend, your deliverer, your rescuer, your redeemer, your father, your key to salvation, and I have spoken. <laughs> then he gave me 2 Thessalonians 2.9. Then there's another little message. Seven, sevenfold destruction, sevenfold calamity. The end is now. The end is here. But it's only the beginning. Listen to my prophets. Read my words both ways, reverse from bottom to top or top to bottom. It's the beginning and the end. Getting new revelation. It's the first and the last. Everything I say means something. I will see you in the clouds soon. I love you, your Lord God, and I have spoken. You know what's amazing is today I heard in my head, why do you think I named it Revelation? <laughs> and okay, get into that's that why, because he wanted you to get <laughs> the revelation. God is so awesome. Okay, um, then he gave me Galatians 2.12, Acts 2.17, Joel 3.11, Jude 1.5, Daniel 12.7, Jeremiah 1 3, Revelation 22 8, Revelation 10 9, and Luke 2 11. <clears throat> now, for all the ones who don't believe, I'm going to read this backwards and you're going to see this. It's amazing. I mean, I'm still blown away by this. This just started last night, guys. I didn't even know I could read this message backwards. It was like a revelation that he gave me. <laughs> I got to drink some coffee, though. Hold on one second. Okay, it's backwards, here we go. Your Lord God and I have spoken. I love you. I will see you in the clouds mm -hmm. soon. Everything I say means something. It's the first and the last. Getting new revelation. It's the beginning and the end. Read my words, both reverse from bottom to top or top to bottom. Listen to my prophets. But it's only the beginning. The end is here. The end is now. Seven, sevenfold destruction, sevenfold calamity. <clears throat> okay, in the next paragraph. <clears throat> your Abba, your friend, your deliverer, your rescuer, your redeemer, your father, your key to salvation. And I have spoken. I love you. Believe in me before it's too late. You are not practicing the truth if you are walking in spiritual darkness. There is no darkness in me. I am holy. Do you hear me calling you, child? Oh, I'm sorry. He said, I am holy. I am the good shepherd. 
Do you hear me calling you, child? Are you my sheep? They are my sheep. They hear me calling them home. They have my spirit. They love you because I love you. My children are pure of heart. Darkness is going to fall. Wake up, O sleeper. The groom came and the people slept. Be a wise virgin. Don't be a foolish virgin. Get your oil lamps full. Get your houses in order. <clears throat> I know the number of hairs on your head. I knit you in your mother's womb. I chose you before you were born. There is only one judge, and that is me. Not judge them. I told you to love your neighbor, not condemn them. I hear everyone's thoughts. Don't forget, I see everyone's heart. Is it cold? Is it wicked? Examine your heart, child. Do not scoff at my anointed ones, you insidious heathen. You prowl around like a lion, seeking whom you may devour. I know your wicked hearts. Every word you speak will be the power of the tongue, death, or life. I put my words in their mouths. These are my words. They speak truth. Do not come after my anointed ones. Did you like my light show? <laughs> my heart is breaking. Your time is almost up. I will give you rest. Lay your burdens down. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. I am the only way. I am your rescuer. I am your redeemer. I am your salvation. I am your rock. I told you the skies would be beautiful, but very ominous. You will see a lot more lights and very soon. Last night was the pre-show. Pre are you ready for my movie? My word is alive and you are watching it now come to life. I have hidden meanings to everything. Everything I say means something. I told you to look at the numbers and find my patterns. My bowls, my vials, my numbers. Uh, blessed is he who comes like a child and seeks the kingdom of God. You are saved by childlike faith and my grace. Let me save you. Give me your hearts, child. Repent and believe in me. I came to save it. I didn't come to condemn the world. I wish for no one to perish. I stretch my arms out far and wide and welcome you. Now is your chance to get on the boat. My door's almost closed. I have a sword coming for the wicked. Do not scoff at them. Do not mock them. I have chosen my prophets from the very beginning to do my will. I speak in parables to overshadow the events that are still yet to come. I told you the end is the beginning and the first will be last. But now that the end is here, it's all being revealed to you. I told Daniel to seal up my coming until the very end. Tsunami, earthquakes, pandemics, martial law, famines, one world currency, one world government, bank collapses, no monetary funds. If you have eyes to see, let them see. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. No man has seen. This world is about to get very dark. They know I love them and I'm coming to rescue them. My chosen ones are my first fruit. Did Elijah have faith it would happen? Did I tell Elijah he would be raptured? Did I tell Noah to get on the boat? I gave you my seven day warning. The angels are lining up to blow. The trumpet will sound. Seven, my child, seven starts it all. My children will be caught up. The flame, the fire, my chosen ones. The sun of perdition will rise. Oh, guys, I got all oh, sparkles in my eye. Oh, it's like burning. I'm calling. I'm calling you up, child. <laughs> Devil. Hold on, guys. We rebuke you, Satan, in oh, Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Sometimes my eyes will water, you know, when I'm reading his word because I feel his spirit and stuff and it tears me up. And then, of course, my sparkles fall in my eyes. Um, <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so it goes, this, um, the flame, the fire, my chosen ones, the sun of perdition will rise. I am calling you up, or no, I told you to keep your eyes on Israel. I am calling you up, child, my harpazo. The spirit proclaims my rapture. The spirit proclaims my coming. Let them hear. I speak to, no, I'm sorry. I speak to the churches who have ears to hear. What did I say to the seven churches? But the spirit knows what the man couldn't possibly understand. My child, no man knows. My child knows no man knows the day or hour. 
People will be rioting and looting in the streets. You will see chaos. Uh, darkness will cover the lands. I am coming, my child, my Nazareth, my time from the beginning. Signs in my heaven, signs in my creation. Gemini, Taurus, Libra, the open door. I mean, guys, I am not that good. I could never write that in a million years to make it front and backwards. To me, I feel like that is like almost impossible. Ugh. Okay, sorry. I have, someone has to go. I'm like dying over here. Anna. <laughs> McKenna. okay um i if you see me like laughing this whole time it's because he's been giving me revelation after revelation and um and it's just making me giggle because of everything and how every piece of random things through throughout this whole journey and throughout my whole life like is coming together for this moment like this time that we are in and um Wow. Praise God, you guys. I just have to say that, like, I, I never would have thought, I never would. Have, yeah. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. <laughs> I don't know the rest. Um, but yes, I am just, I'm overwhelmed with like, love from from the lord and um just everything makes sense my whole life of suffering like makes sense now and um yes but the revelation that i have I, I have to share them before they leave my brain is um like he always he always makes sure in the messages to remind us that he is the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. And he gave me the revelation while Mandy was reading that the reason he has us reading his word backwards, anything that has to do with the end times is because it's for the end. When you read it in reverse, it's, it's, it's for what is like, it comes in that order. Like, and um it wasn't for the people in the old testament like they read it you know from the beginning to the end but because we are in the end times when we read it backwards everything aligns and everything is in the proper order like oh, whoa yeah. i feel the holy spirit so much saying that and <laughs> and um i just have to say something really quickly like in this is this is just crazy and he, the lord doesn't have favorites he does not have favorites he calls everyone for their own purpose and um and when you when you truly seek him and you ask him for to give you his holy spirit he will reveal things to you and he will reveal what your purpose is or how you can um, efficiently bless his children in this short time. He will reveal the date to you if you ask. Uh, there's been about three people who they they questioned my videos about the date um, because of previous dates, just like with Mandy and Jess. And I was like, I never said that those dates were the rapture date. I said, well, I'm getting a lot of confirmations and that's why I'm sharing it because the Holy Spirit is giving me confirmations. But the reason he gave me confirmation for those dates is because I was able to go into the Bible and find the things that happened on those dates in the constellations and this year's date like that they happened, that he gave me something, confirmation for those exact dates. One of them was the, um, the, the wedding band uh, eclipse on April 20th. I found that in Matthew 24. He showed me how to properly do the math and um, it's in there. It's April 20th of 23. And then the asteroid, like, I don't know if you guys have been following me since last month, but um, I, I, I had a silly prayer that I, I asked Jesus, I said, Jesus, it, you are the son of God. And I know that the son like is symbolic of you. And, um, you went into the sun, like when you left, when you left earth, you went back to heaven. And, um, <laughs> I said, are you the solar storm that is headed for earth? 
And do you know what he led me to? Matthew 16 and 17. And it was there where the Holy Spirit made me question why he changed Simon's name to Peter. And um, when I looked at the meaning of Peter, it means rock. And since I had prayed about the sun, I said, hmm, space rocks <laughs> and asteroids. And I was like, wasn't there an asteroid that just passed Earth like at the beginning of April? And when I looked um, for that asteroid, the numbers in like the size of the asteroid, the distance it was from Earth, were the exact numbers of Peter's name in the biblical Strong's Concordance. Like, how awesome is our God, you guys? This whole time, people are afraid of numbers. They are afraid of looking to the stars for signs because the enemy twisted all of that. But our God numbers everything. Like the whole first, I mean, the whole Bible is full of numbers. And he did that for a reason. And and we've been taught to look away from that. Um, like in the first week, it's like on the first day, you know, and this and this all the way through the seventh. And then um, he gave Noah the seven day warning. Like, why does he have emphasis on numbers if we are supposed to not pay attention to them? And the order with, um, it's just, it's just mind blowing, you guys. And I just have to share because there's so many who are, um, they're unfortunately misled in their churches. I know that my churches were misleading now that the Holy Spirit has shown me the truth. And I'm like, um, man, the reason, you know how God connected me and Mandy? Because I was, I was watching her messages from the Lord and I called her and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think I found, I found like the movie, like stuff that aligns with the story of him coming to earth and this and that. And what, as I was speaking, the Lord shook her and he told her that I had um, received spirits from the church that I had been going to. And so she prayed over me in that moment. And that was when my gifts started to flourish. And that was when he showed me that numbers were part of my gift, discerning the messages behind numbers uh, mainly, but now calculating and finding the dates in the Bible. Like, I wouldn't have thought of doing this, you guys. Like, like Mandy yeah. always says, we have nothing to profit from this. Our families pretty much, well, I'm not saying this for everyone, but most of our families hate us. They think we like belong in a loony bin or my family thinks that I'm suicidal and they ask what I'm going to do when I'm not raptured. Like if, if I'm going to off myself and I'm like, I would never do that. And especially because I have faith in my God and my God would not have woken me up when he did. And he would not have led me to do what I have been doing. Um, he, you know, my, <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I don't care because I don't live for the world anymore. My car got taken, it got repossessed. Okay. Because I've been on disability and this and that. And, um, <laughs> now I can see that the Lord did that in April, just in time for Mandy to pray over me and the spirits to be gone. And for me to learn how to pray so that no other spirits, um, interrupt me with, with my walk with Jesus and, um, to stop me from going to that church where, where people yeah. were getting demons casted out and I was catching them. <laughs> Guys, I something. didn't even know about the church. That was the weird thing, you know? So I was in the car and the Lord shook me and he mm -hmm. said, tell her that she need, we need to pray over her to get rid of the spirit that she has interacted from her church that she's been going to. God spoke it to me. And she exactly. said, oh, my goodness. You know, yeah, because I, I was wondering because I, I would once in a while in prayer, it was like um, something would try to replace my words and um, say the wrong name not Jesus name. And I, I would freak out, but after Mandy prayed for me, I learned how I, to pray. pray I watched all her. Away. It was amazing. After I prayed over her, I, I spoke in my spirit language and I casted whatever was in there to the abyss. And I'm just telling you what this girl next day, she had like seven revelations. <laughs> and, but, uh, and 
He showed me, he told me to look up my name and my birth date and the numbers and the meanings biblically of it. And I, like my, I was created for the lifting of the veil before the tribulation, like to, to show the difference of the good and evil that is right in front of us or whatever. And um, revelation is part of my name and arise is my, my first name means arise. Like I never knew that my entire life. I thought I was a failure. I thought I would never be anything you guys like, and I just have to share this because the Lord loves you and he wants all of us to seek him like we have. And he, and he has gifts for you too. We're not special. Um, and, and I just, I feel like Jesus is what I was missing my whole life. I did talk to God as a child, like I knew God, but I, um, the devil came in and made me uh, afraid of Jesus actually and angels saved my life so like I knew that there was a God but it wasn't until 2020 that the Lord literally spoke in my ear and he guided me to buying my first Bible and here we are anyways okay so let me show so you awesome. the time yeah. That's <laughs> I so just, awesome. the Holy Spirit came over me so I had to share that but. no that's awesome why you're looking I will say one thing guys you know when you were praying like when so when I can't explain it, guys, though. When Jesus speaks to me, this is how he gave me a discernment gift. I do not watch other people, but if somebody tags me into something, I will start listening. And if the Lord goes like this, I know not to watch it anymore. Literally, that is just, that's it. I hear, I either feel it like this or I hear no, 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 no. Or he holds my hand really tight and I know to listen because he wants me to hear it because he's, he's confirming it by squeezing my hand. And that, after I prayed over her and casted things, the next day, the Lord held my hand so tight. And I just watched all the revelations come. It was like amazing because mm -hmm. I'll be honest, some of her videos, the Lord That's went like stuff. this. No, 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 no. So I didn't know. I didn't know. And so God literally led me to her to have pray over her because he did choose her from the very beginning. But sometimes Satan will come in and mess up God's anyway. reign over the world, you know, until yeah. Jesus comes. But anyway, I just wanted to say that real quick. Yeah, praise, praise God, God, you guys. Jesus is everything. He is the way. And um, uh, I, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that, um, yeah, like I, I. You know, I, I've always felt like God was in my life and had his hands over me, but I didn't know why. And it's because Satan always wants to come in and make uh, like he doesn't want you to know your purpose. He wants to cause stumbling blocks in your life. Like, seriously, but Jesus is all powerful. He is so much greater. And if you seek him and you pray and you cast out all spirits, he will show you. He will reveal what you ask. Like, seriously, ask it in his name, in Jesus name. I always say that in prayer. I say, I know that you said, Jesus, that anything asked in your name will be done as long as it aligns with your will. And, and you, watch what happens. He He's so amazing. But OK, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard <laughs> on the computer. OK, well. Hopefully you guys have your Bibles <laughs> in like next year or something. But um, if you start at Daniel 12 and you go, um, let's see, hold on. McKenna, if you remove the blur, blur the background. Of, oh, yeah. Okay. Is that in the three dots? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I hold on. Now I forgot it again. <laughs> I have so many notes on my Bible now. Um, so ma I math equations. <laughs> yeah, math equations and stuff. I'm like, the funny thing is, is I did accounting without any schooling for seven years. God was literally <laughs> preparing me to pay attention to numbers. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Um, okay, so it was. Hold on. Holy Spirit, please. 
Help me find it again. Okay, so at the bottom, if you look at 12 and 13, that, um, if you go, if you, <laughs> it goes like this, uh, sorry, two plus three. So you do it like top, like they're separate, okay, the four numbers, but two plus three is five, and then the two, and then you go up, and then it's um, the, what is it, 1853, right? Yeah. I had it all, and then after I, like, went off on a Holy Spirit tangent, <laughs> I lost it. Hold on. Hold on. Do you want to share something just really quickly while I, like... Find out, yeah, maybe you can answer. How do we find out the biblical name of me? Excuse me. Someone said I was a messenger from God. Like I, the... I said that. You, oh, you're you a, that. a breathing seer, or, or a breathing seer. That's <laughs> at least your name. I, I didn't know, like, your birthday and all that, but... <laughs> um let's see it means that you're you're you prophesy you speak for him what i found in your name Mm -hmm. um and at that time of course when everybody's excited that i found the time i'm like lost in my own notes so Um, mckenna or not mckenna uh, jess i have a question for you so like, okay, so, um, you know, before we even knew, like, someone brought that verse, the astrology verse to me the other day, you know, when God started giving me signs and stuff in the in the heavens. Um, so I think, are there different names for those? Or are they actually in the signs of the heavens? You know, like Aries, Virgo, Taurus. Are they actually in there? And then the devil mocked it. I'm just trying to understand. So, I mean, it's like, it's like pretty much everything that God, um, that man named, he, you know, man named pretty much like, you know, all all sorts of stuff and God uses the names that men use. And so men decided to name it all sorts of, you know, whatever. And God just you know, it's going to just keep doing it. (laughs) I mean, because like people get so upset, you know, they get so upset that it's like, oh that's a you know name of a god or whatever and it's like yeah but this it doesn't mean that the actual thing is wrong it just means that somebody named it something bad you know (laughs) well god allowed it to happen you know like he's the creator of everything so he allows everything just like he allowed job to have whatever he has a purpose for allowing it to happen we don't know why but he had a purpose Mm -hmm. unless he tells me why (laughs) I'm just trying to read all the comments. McKenna, why don't you do the ones? Okay, let me do the other ones, but I'll make a video on my TikTok of it because I like, because he showed me so many different ways to do the math and get the the same. That's the one we really want. Yeah. Okay. But um, those 726 sister. Yes. Like he came over me and gave me that and the 42 uh, months or whatever. I was like, whoa. So do you Um, feel like real real a little disclaimer while you find the page that Mm -hmm. numbers our god is a mathematical god guys like yes it's not like zodiac or like psychic reading type of numbers that he has me doing it's biblical messages and meanings behind god's numbers Amen. Guys, just and check he- out check out this guy named Dr. Jason Lyle. Okay, he has a PhD. He's an astrophysicist, and he does. He's a Christian, and he does amazing stuff on something called the, the Mandelbrot set. Sorry, guys, I'm wearing my retainer, so I, like I have a list, but <laughs> he has something called the Mandelbrot set. And if you watch that, you will understand that God is a God of numbers. Like, amen. Next level. Next level. Yes, and. It's so funny because, too, uh, I remember in October when I really started to first realize I had the Holy Spirit, um, he said, 
read about Noah, read about Noah, read about Noah. And I was like, why? <laughs> um, and now it's all coming together. Like he, he told us to give you guys the seven day warning before we get in the ark, you guys, just like, at, like it says end times as in the days of Noah, so shall the end times be. So the, wh why wouldn't we have a seven, seven day warning? Amen. And yeah. If you have the Holy Spirit, coming. he gives you it. <laughs> Sorry. He's coming. Sorry. He showed up in my backyard yesterday. Literally. Yes. In my backyard. He's coming. And I saw his face as soon as she sent the picture. I was like, whoa. I've never had that happen because he's coming. That was his confirmation because he knew people would scoff. He had me stand in a restaurant today and yell. At, not yell, but say, excuse me, everybody. Can I have your attention, please? Jesus is coming. I could not leave the place until I tell you that Jesus is coming. And I mean, I literally, it was so embarrassing. I did not want to do it. Like, but I did it in front of the entire place because my heart was going like this. And Jesus said, you have to listen to my commands. And I'm telling you, my child, and he did it in a very nice way. But you know, when you feel that guilt and conviction of the Holy Spirit, well, that's what I felt. And I was like, I told my husband, I said, oh my gosh, Daniel, I was like, um, God wants me to stand up right now and tell everyone that he's coming. And my husband's like, cause he doesn't understand the pre -trib. Well, I don't, that's a whole nother story. He's like, please don't, please don't. I'm like, I have to, you don't understand. I have to. And he's yeah. like, well, I cannot be in here when you do this. So I was like, I asked God if I could, you know, eat my sandwich first and then. <laughs> And then do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt bad because I saw some people leaving. So I almost like wanted to just go after them and be like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> My child, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up, my child. I'm coming, I'm coming. And they call in a soca that I'm so shabrienta. La frena and then a psycho and a soca and a shop and again, and a lot on a shabrienta. La his den and a sky and a soca and a shabrienta. La frena and then a soca and a shabrienta. La skena. Tell them, my child, I'm coming. God doesn't Thank you, usually, Jesus. Thank you, God. God doesn't usually come over me that strong like that, guys, but you don't understand. It's He's not it's joking. here. It's here, He's you guys. Coming. And sometimes tongues pour out like that. And he just comes over me like that and they pour out like axe. I can't explain this, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I try not to speak in tongues and say, oh, gosh, no, Lord Jesus. Hang on. I think he has a message. Hold on. Wake up, my child. I'm sounding the alarm. There is no more time. I am at the door. You need to get on the boat now. You need to not wait another second to come to me, to lay down at my feet and worship me. I am your God. I am your savior. I am your salvation. Why do you worship other gods? Why do you bow down to other gods? I'm the one that when and died for you on the cross. I shed my blood for you. Why can't you see that I'm trying to save you? You are going to wish that you listened. Because I am coming. Second Thessalonians 2.5 1 Corinthians 
39. Revelation 8, 6. First Peter 2, 7. Malachi 1, 9. Philippians 1, 4. Second Thessalonians two six. I hope someone's writing these down because I'm not. I am. Thank you. Daddy on ton and a soul could a show, but I am sad enough that I'm a skater and on ton of a show. Many on a first Kings one eleven. Job 9.4. Deuteronomy 12.8. Matthew 9.11. I'm coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. I am at the door. There are no more warnings. My warnings are final. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one change my creation. I will not let the evil one poison the minds of my children. The Frena Skayatan and a soap of the Shabaragata. I think he's done. <laughs> I got some of the message. I think I got most of the verses, though. Thank you, Lord. Um. I know we've been on, on a little while, but uh, just uh, to show you, this is really cool, you guys. The Holy Is he done or? Uh, no, this is how oh. I get messages, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to be writing this down because I use it. Um, here, I, need you me to, step I can away. record you. Do you want me to, oh, yeah. Or I can record you. Step away, step away. Okay. Well, no, I think he wants people to see that this is real. You know, mm -hmm. he's coming okay. over me like this during the live because I think he's trying to prove to people that I'm not lying, that this is what happens. This is how I receive his messages because he is coming. Amen. I'll record you. Okay, Mandy. Okay. Just because I don't know. I don't think I have enough paper room. <laughs> First John 2, 9. First John 2, 9. Matthew 25, 6. So this is how he gives me scripture, guys. He says it when I know this is the one he wants me to use. I'll hear Matthew 25, 6. And then he'll go 25, 6, 25, 6, 25, 6. Just so I know that that's the right one. Storms are coming, my child. Storms are coming. Geomagnetic. Geomagnetic centricity. It's going to pull the airwaves. It's going to pull the airwaves. Something about it's going to pull the airwaves. The earth is going to shift. High magnitudes. California is going to fall. The Madrid fault line is going to break. Oh my gosh. 
Yellowstone is going to erupt. Tsunami waves. are going to cover the East Coast. They're going to knock down New York buildings. Fire in the cities, fire in the streets. I don't want any of this for you, my child. I'm trying to save you. If you come to me and you believe and confess with your mouth that I am Lord, I will save you. My father sent me to save the world, not condemn it. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? Why can you not see that I am trying to save you and I'm coming for you? When the door closes, it shuts. There will be no more warnings. My spirit will be removed. You will have to seek. You will have to seek my glory by the death of the sword. And they go on an assault of Shabri and Tarana Antan and a con and assault of Shbegata, Lafrena, Skay and Tan and a Sayat of Shabriana. I love you, my child. Please wake up. I want everyone at the wedding feast. You are my prize. I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. Believe in me. Repent. Come to me with all of your heart with full repentance and I will save you. Change your mind and believe and confess that I am Lord. I wish for no one to perish. I am your deliverer. I am your Abba. I am your Adonai. I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. Matthew 1 11. Job 14 6. Habakkuk 1 3. Stephaniah. Two, eight. Do you say two, eight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm hearing two, five, so hold on. It's not easy being human and trying to listen and get every word. But usually after I get it, I write it down and then I go over it a couple of times with him. And if I got something wrong, he'll, he'll go like that. So did you write all that down? Because I have no idea what I just said. Yeah. I also, <laughs> I wrote Zephaniah 2.8 and 2.5 because you said you were hearing that too. Yeah. I, Wow. I mean, I wrote as much as I could down and recorded it as much as I could. So I hope I got all of it. My That's phone uh, uh, ran out of storage. He'll speak it to me again, and, and I can always go back and listen to the recording. Okay. You guys, okay. I just want to read one random verse from here. And I just picked a random one. And if you guys, you know, you guys are saying, oh, it's scary, you know, all these things. Again, wearing retainer, but... Habakkuk 1 3 okay is one of them like how hard is it to pick just you cannot pick a random verse that all actually makes sense like with what 
the messages. Must I forever see these evil deeds? Why must I watch for all this misery? Wherever I look, I see destruction and violence. I am surrounded by people who love to argue and uh oh, she cut out. Devil, oh, she froze. Devil, I rebuke we you. We rebuke you. In the name. Jesus and Jesus name. Show, but again, the AI, go, go, right now, in Jesus' name. Okay, quite. thank you. Back. Okay. You're back. Yeah, so, what yeah. Was... Yeah. The second part, we didn't hear. Yeah, go ahead. Must I forever see? I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Everybody pray. Uh, Cassie, do we you We rebuke hear? you in Jesus' name. name. Cassie, speak in your spirit language. To the abyss, to the abyss, AI, to the abyss, to the abyss. You cannot come in all clean. This life is covered in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Go, Jack. Jesus' name. Must I forever see these evil deeds? Why must I watch all this misery? Wherever I look, I see destruction and violence. I am surrounded by people who love to argue and fight. And so I was I was looking up the verses as she's speaking. Tell me how you can, you know, just randomly say out verses that all mean like very similar things. It's God rebuking. It's God rebuking. And, he, you know, it's talking about iniquity. It's talking about all these things. So... You know, he's saying like, woe to, mocking. woe to the those to the sinners in this certain place in Zephaniah, you know, he's saying. Um, well, anyways, there's I mean, I looked up so many, but they're they're all like the, you cannot do that. You cannot just like make up verses in your head. OK, and I know Mandy very well. She's not the type of person that she's like. So, like, she memorized the whole Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I knew, like, four scriptures before all this started, okay? I can't even quote, like, and it's terrible. I'm sorry, Jesus. Matthew. And God, the Holy Spirit confirms it with me for about I mean, Mandy. I know for God gave his only son that he, that, that he sent them so we wouldn't perish and have eternal life. I can't even say it correctly without God behind me, guys. You know, the only ones that I do know is, like, um, I have this one memorized now. Lord, Lord, we prophesy in your name. We've cast devils out in your name. Um, um, then, then I declare, I say, I, I never knew you. I have that one now. It's Matthew 7, 21. But all the other ones, guys, it's like, I, I don't I don't have any of these memorized, okay? And I can't control it when God comes over me sometimes like that. I mean, like, I can control it. I can stop it. But then I'll have the conviction in my heart. So I just let him do his thing because it's God and I'm not going to argue with God, which is why I lost my job. You know, I put out all these messages and somebody called and said I was a terrorist because I was telling them that they're poisoning the water and the air. And this was back in January um, when I said fire in the cities because God told me it was going to be burning in the streets and all this stuff in the train derailment. He told me all this. He said, explosions, my child, plants are going to blow up. Um, he said, um, fires in the cities he um he said they're poisoning the water the air it's going to be and you know what they called my company and they said I was a terrorist and they were going to call the FBI on me and my company let me go I was a realtor and they let me go because of the people calling from online hate and um my church let me go from my worship team which I loved I loved singing on the worship team but they didn't understand the messages either so I gave all that up for God, guys. I was a country music artist. I did really well for the people who said that I didn't make it there. You know, I was on Billboard. I did have that song, Great Minds Drink Alike, on Billboard. I was top 80 on Music Row for Rowdy Shoutin' Cowboys, and it was under Morgan Riley, my music name. Uh, I have a TV show called Yacht Stops right now on Amazon Prime, and I was a, a guest episode on that um, that's about to come out, which I have not even promoted because I don't do country music anymore. I just sing for the Lord and I do Christian because I know Satan takes over this world and I don't monetize. There's nothing to gain from this, guys. If I wanted fame, I would have, you know, I would have kept going for that. So for the people who say that, it's just okay. God knows my heart. I don't have anything to prove. God knows my heart. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Which is why he visited me yesterday in my backyard with the light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so exciting. 
should I should I show them at, at least one yes, of the yes, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, don't apologize. That was our Lord. <laughs> that was our Lord. Yeah, yeah, don't apologize. Know, <laughs> um so yeah, if you I go am working for another realtor company, I'm so sorry, um, McKenna. I am because okay. God found me one that was a little more Christian and doesn't matter now. I had a couple of deals with him, but the world's about to end. But guess what my contract was? Before I got the rapture date, my contract was 223 Celebration Avenue. Woo! 223, come on, guys. Is that a coincidence? Come 223 on. Celebration Avenue. Seriously, Jesus. that was the last contract, and we're supposed to close in June. I'm not going to be here for that. Amen. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um. Okay, so if you go to Revelation, this is where I first saw it. Revelation 22, but you move, you're reading backwards, you guys. Okay. So at the 27, if you look, if you start with the seven and you go this way, the Holy Spirit showed me this. I would never have thought of it. Seven, two, six, Harpazo, rapture on the 22nd of May. Then the 42 weeks begin in the year of 23. 42 I know months. you guys can't see it. What? 42 months. months. Yeah. Oh, 42 yeah, months. I keep months. saying weeks. I keep saying weeks. I'm so sorry. Please know that I mean months. <laughs> um, Listen, I want to know. I probably would have said 42 days because I don't really <laughs> <laughs> But I want to read, I want to read the verses because of like the whole, it just connects to what he showed me with the, with the numbers in that order. So just, just those verses, but, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that, that defiles neither whatsoever works abomination or makes a lie, but they, which are written in the Lamb's book of life. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations to it, into it, sorry. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. Because our Lord, our God, is our light in heaven. And the nations of them, of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. So, uh, oh, and the city had no need for sun, neither the moon. And so it's talking about the like the new Jerusalem. And later we come down with Jesus. The new Jerusalem comes down, right? Do I have that part right? Huh? Well, are you talking to me? Sorry, so <laughs> talking to any of you. <laughs> I was looking at <laughs> that part, right? <laughs> Well, it's talking about like they make us, a new jerusalem yeah they make a new yeah we get raptured we go into heaven the new jerusalem and then later on we come down with jesus and yes he's on the new yeah, earth because yeah, he yeah, brings so us whole earth. people with him yeah yeah, yeah well yeah. the earth has to be purified and cleansed so you have that's the tribulation. the tribulation and then afterwards whenever he comes back that he's like wiping everything clean Mm. like burned that's, like burnt. that's so burnt funny fire. that's so funny they and say that because new jerusalem is pure it's holy it cannot mix with unclean so it has to be cleaned and then sit down amen amen that makes sense thank you mm -hmm. uh th that's funny that you say that because purification i'm pretty sure i was reading about it in daniel or earlier today or Daniel, or I can't remember. I Anyways, it actually is in Revelation, and it's like seven is purification, I believe, and that's how I found the the May twenty second date was because he kept saying seven, my child seven, and then he he gave that forty third day thing, and like the the twenty plus the tw I thought it was originally um, Israel would be on the twentieth, and here would be on the twenty first, or sorry, twenty second and the twenty first. And so I thought that made the 43rd, 43rd symbolism. Mm -hmm. um, but 43rd day from what I, I see is his day of rest, our day of rest, actually. <laughs> and the date is 5-2, which is 7 and 2. Um, and then the 3-2, which is 7. And so I thought that with the 43 
would make it the 777, his divine completion. Mm -hmm. And by the way, he's been sending me, like, with the whole Noah thing, it's crazy, but he's been sending me animals, you guys. He, I, I was on the phone with Jess at the beach house, and he sent me two ducks when I said, I wonder if that's connected about the date. <laughs> And then he sent me a orange or a green bird and then an orange bird on another day, like right after I pray. I'm like, I feel like Noah. <laughs> like I'm going to have all these animals gather around. Me. Just kidding. I'm not I'm not saying that I am like Noah, but OK, so I'm going to the other 726 because there are multiple that have that 726 to on the 22nd of May and and the 42 weeks begin. It, Write this down. Airwaves are going to open up the portals. God just, I was reading the comment and God shook me. Someone said there's no airwaves. He's saying airwaves are going to open up the portals. Airwaves. It has to do with the satellite 512. They are hiding it from you, my child. It's going to become black death. This is going to consume the world and many will die. Do not question my words. Everything my prophets speak is from me. I am the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. And I will not be mocked. My coming is final. I'm trying to wake you up because I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from destruction. I'm trying to save you from calamity. I'm trying to save you from chaos. When I tell you God reads the comments, guys, God reads the comments. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what airwaves mean, but whoever said that, <laughs> You might want to talk to Jesus about it. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on, Jesus. I might have to go in there and, and get this message. I don't know. What Do a full doing. message? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Or does but, he want us all here? Because, I mean, there's 1.1 thousand people watching still. So. No. Let me just pray. I'm just praying quiet. my hand. We're going to be quiet for you. Let me just pray. Be quiet? Okay. My child, I want them to see because I want them to believe. So he doesn't want me to go anywhere. Praise Always God. Comes over me again. This is why I'm so tired all the time, guys. You don't understand. It's like when he pours his spirit out on me like this, I, I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck sometimes because I'm just, it's so much for my fleshly body that. The spiritual world does not understand the flesh. And it's so hard. It's so hard, but I love the Lord and I'm just I'm just obedient for the people who don't believe. Okay. Go ahead, guys. I think you've done for now. Okay. Um well, oh wait. I already did Matthew, right? Today? The seven two six in Matthew. No, yeah. I did the revelation. You I did, did the revelation one. Yeah, you did the revelation. Oh, but uh, this is where I found like the date. The rapture date is also in Matthew. You can find it on my TikTok video, and also the um, April tenth asteroid that happened last month of twenty three is also in there, um, and the wedding ring one. But if you go to, where is it? Oh, if you go to Matthew 16 and you start at, um, you start down here at 27 because it says, for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. And if you go up, it's seven to six on the 22nd of May, 
and then the 42 weeks begin in the 23rd year. Um, and there is one more as well. Like he showed, he, like, I would have never thought of these ways to like calculate the numbers or anything, you guys. He has shown me every single way. And um, I mean, not every single way, but a lot of ways. And it gets the same dates. And he is trying to show me how to do it for his true dates from historic events within his word as well. And I did find the um, the sign in the heavens that was our our first warning, or at least that I know of, um, in September 23rd of 2017. It has that date, like the 17th year and everything. But um, hang on, it's um, you guys continue. I'm just gonna hearing listen there was a there was something in the comments i wanted to answer um oh yeah well it wasn't actually an, it was a, somebody said um Kyle, they said they had a dream that when the solar flare bursts like a bomb it will send shockwaves through the earth that will be his glory upon the earth and i just like that was what mandy was yeah. wow what was that what did you say no, that was what Mandy was talking about um, before, and I was like, oh, it's a bonus if you guys want me to share, but Mandy, if you want to interrupt me, totally fine. It's just a fun thing. No, go ahead. No, do that. I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting a message, so okay. I'm writing it down, so, and then whoever else got that, I need to get that from y'all later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a candidate. Um, so, so it's just... Um, you know, I like, I really like science that, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I really like science and um, I just was kind of fiddling with um, a theory that I had, which was, you know, just about exactly what this, this comment was saying, really. And it was, you know, a lot of people think the EMP is related to war. And I just was thinking the fact that there's going to be darkness everywhere, the fact that the scripture says the sun will be like sackcloth and the moon will be like blood, very specifically. The fact that uh, Mandy was talking about red skies um, and how there'll be a lot of many, many Christians have said that there's fires everywhere. Okay, It's like all over. And so this leads me to think that the EMP, so EMP can be caused by two things. It can be caused by men doing some like, you know, man-made device or can be caused by the sun. And so it would be something like a Carrington event. So if you guys look up Carrington event, it was in the 1800s. There was a the biggest solar flare. I think it was like 20 times the normal amount. And um, basically it, so for example, if you had those, those ladies who were the operators, they used to be operators, they would, you know, plug you in. Um, many of them were either, you know, electrocuted, there was uh, fires that came through because it was a very, very huge electromagnetic surge. And it was almost like they were saying things like, it was almost like the, the earth was like a, a battery, okay? And so it, it, if that happened in 2023, it would, it would be exactly all of those things. There would be fires everywhere because there's like electric, electrical grid, you know, infrastructure all over the world. So there'd be fires everywhere. You know, the, the, then the, the skies would be darkened, they'd be red, you know, the moon would turn red and all these things. And so I was kind of like, you know, talking to the girls and I was like, you know, maybe there's a link between that and the rapture as well. Because if you guys watch Ron Wyatt, he talks about um, the 10 commandments, the tablets being sapphire, and he talked about this wall in that room being entirely sapphire. And it was almost as if like God's glory was in the room and like shone and caused the stone to turn into sapphire. And also, you know, it talks about with um, Moses when he went, went up to the mountain, God's feet came down and they touched the rock and that turned to sapphire too. And so I want to say something. So sapphire, it's not actually sapphire like we know. It's sapphire like lapis lazuli. Okay, lapis lazuli. It's it's a very deep blue. 
it's it's like an indigo color. And here's the interesting thing. If you look at the pride flag, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that. just sorry, P-R-I-D-E flag. They take out a color to make it six colors. Which color do they take out? And they say it's unnecessary. They say, oh, scientifically it's unnecessary because it's blue and purple together. They take out indigo. And there's a reason why I think that, you know, a lot of these Indian small G gods are, they're all indigo color. And, you know, there's this new age stuff like indigo child and all this, whatever. And if you know science, you know that in biology, this true blue color is like very, very rare. Okay. And so I have like these indigo butterflies on my wall and I was always like praise God about it because it's such a rare color in um in nature and and often when it is in nature it's like it's it's an illusion actually and so it's there's this like very strong link with God and indigo and I think it's so funny how they take it out of the PRID you know alphabet flag and there's it's really interesting to me too, that there's a link between indigo and also UV light. Okay, so if you look at UV light, it's quite like blue, purple, it's on that side of the spectrum. And so if you also know the Shroud of Turin, I know this is getting a little long, but hopefully you guys will can make the connections. But if you look at the Shroud of Turin, it, they talk about how the only thing that can make that image of Christ in the fabric is an extremely, extremely strong UV light burst like of radiation okay radiation radiation is like also um it's it's like this it's like uv you know uv radiation if it, it has to be like so bright and so it's like there is a link between you know this light this electricity this electromagnetic pulse which is radiation you know this uv you know and god's glory okay and so John Fenn, which I've talked about as well, he made a really cool comment. This is the last thing. He made a cool comment where he says, when God's glory comes upon the believer, so he's a seer, so he can see into the spiritual realm and he sees what's ha really happening, whereas we only see the physical things. So for example, Mandy says, talks about how she shakes, okay? And many believers in the comments were saying that they shake. Okay, so John Fenn talks about when the Holy Spirit comes upon somebody, the glory of God, they, like if it's low, they'll feel like a shiver, goosebumps. Like I get goosebumps. They feel like just wind, you know, things like yeah. that. If it gets stronger, oh, they will start to shake. Uncontrollable, okay? When it gets strong, like very, very strong, they will actually die. Like we see this in the Bible. They'll be knocked dead. The, God, the glory of God will knock you dead. Well, first it can knock you on the ground. You're like, you can't move. Or <laughs> <laughs> Mandy's <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> like i don't want to die <laughs> no 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 that's when it's like god turns it up but it, god can do it okay it's god's god's glory god's will he doesn't you know it's not and then he said if it goes to the highest level you'll actually well not highest but like for us okay the high level will actually yes. be changed and new okay translated yes Ascending. And that, that is the rapture so it's like is oh, it wow. if God's glory comes down on us and we are made new, all, like millions of people across the world, will it be such a strong electromagnetic pulse or oh wow, EMP, like just an EMP? And oh it my gosh! I just wow. have a theory. I don't know. I've been like well, ruminating on it. That sounds like a revelation to me. I don't know. <laughs> Ask so, for confirmation. No, that's awesome. But I do know, like, one of my messages, you know, when he mentioned the 512 satellite, I've never heard of 512. They're hiding it because you can't really see a lot about it. But something with the airwaves of 512. Hold on. I don't, I don't know what he's saying. Hold on. going to cause plagues and famine death and destruction it's going to be a wave over the people so i guess it's just like like on. radioactive i heard yes my child yes my child well that explains the burning like the sun mm. Wow. In Revelation. Oh, is that the nuke? <laughs> no. Done. Satellite. 
satellite 512 something different i think wow Five twelve is the black death. It's the death rider. It's darkness. It's the plague. Many will die. It will come after I take my chosen ones. I'm calling my people up. I told you I would keep you from the hour that is coming on this entire world. I will protect my people. I will deliver my people. I am the great I am. I am your creator. I will not let the devil mock my creation. The vaccine is not, I told you the mark was coming. I told you what the mark was. The mark comes when pandemic increases. Oh. The financial institution will be set up. Your medical records will be at the, on the palm of your hand. Your social credit score will be attached. You will not be able to participate in society unless you take the mark. I do not want any of this for my children. I wish for not one to perish. Mm. Okay. Mandy, he had his hand on my neck that time <laughs> again. Ever since she prayed for me, I asked for something. I'm like, can you like shake me like Mandy? <laughs> so I know it's you. <laughs> and he puts his hand like right here and he'll like kind of gently nod my head. Or if I'm doing something he doesn't want me to do, he'll shake it. Like not hard, but just gentle. Did y'all get all that? Because I haven't written anything down. Yeah. Is Cassie, you said it was recording, right? Yeah, it's probably going to be better because you were talking so fast. I couldn't write that fast. Yeah, and I have first, sloppy handwriting. First John 1 5. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians 2 11. First Thessalonians 2 9. Genesis 14, 7. Revelation 11, 6. John 3, 5. Matthew 24, 9. Joel 2.11. First Peter 2.4. Genesis 1.8. Judges two five Jeremiah one nine oh. 
Okay, thing is done. I guess that message is gonna be with this message. <laughs> this is my life, guys. <laughs> this is my Great life. is your reward. Yeah. I can't wait for the inheritance in heaven. I told <laughs> I told I told Jesus I wanted a house with sparkles and like diamonds and like colors like this bright pink that I love and like turquoise and purple and all that like fun stuff. <laughs> are, are we allowed to ask for like what we want? Like hey, I'm asking for it. <laughs> I've been saying I would really like a cabin by the mountain if I can. <laughs> Kathy and McKenna are both gonna have cabins. <laughs> yeah, I want a big kitchen. Okay, so yeah, the comments. Your hair was moving, Mandy. It was your finger. I just want everybody to know that was, she was doing this. Okay, yeah, I, was going, I was going like this with my finger. Yeah, because so because when he stops tapping me, it's like it's it's like an energy, and it's hard to explain. It's very supernatural. And it's like a thought that pops in my head. It's not necessarily always a voice. Now, sometimes he'll wake me up from sleep and I'll have a voice or some like May 22nd. I had a voice that day, May 22nd, May 22nd. I'm telling you, he's coming, guys. God's never shook me in the middle of a recording like this. He did with the Obama thing. Okay, so I had the Obama dream. And so Obama had a Santa hat on. His face was on the computer. And the Lord spoke to me right before I woke up and he said, this is the Antichrist. I woke up, I recorded a video in the middle of the video. He shook me and gave me six scriptures confirming that Obama was the Antichrist. I've never studied the Antichrist. I don't know anything about the Antichrist. I haven't voted since I was 18. I don't follow politics. I just trust in Jesus. Um, so I, I don't, I have no idea. But he also told me Gog was an Egyptian ruler. And everyone thinks Gog is Russia, but it's not. It's coming from Egypt. And he spoke Yasser Arafat the other day. And I know Yasser, Yasser Arafat is dead, but he said something about witchcraft. And um, I don't have the message in front of me. Guys, there's so many messages that he's already given me. Some of it's already come true, but a lot of this is going to be for end time events to warn the people left behind. Okay, so we are already past 11. Um, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know God was going to do No, it. <laughs> this is his thing. This is not us. This is him. He gets to take control. He gets to do whatever he wants to do. Plain and simple. Amen. Praise our God. I love you too, my, my Kyla. I think that's how you say your name. Kyla. I love all you guys. We love you all. Yeah, we're all family brought together. Well, maybe not the mockers, but you can be family too <laughs> if you choose oh, Jesus. Yeah, I looked at the time of like how long we've been doing it for, and it was like two, one, two, one, two. I was like, oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> if that's not your confirmation, I don't know what will be. <laughs> Guys, it's the confirmation is you know god spoke it okay so like i said yeah I mean, it, has, it has to be true because everything he's and it's saying, in his word it's in the the and, verse that says no one knows the day or the hour the day and the hour are in there he showed wait, me that the other day yeah did you show them that i was so busy getting a mess and i didn't even i didn't realize um yeah, if she wants to go ahead and do that, guys, I'll do the, I'll do a separate. No, no, let, let Cassie do it, and I'll make a video. Um, oh, I've been the seals. Yes, Cassie, do the seals. Definitely. Yeah, I've been posting them on YouTube, too, so my YouTube is, like, pretty weak, but you guys can follow me if you don't have TikTok or on TikTok. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, this won't take long because I'm still searching this out. Um with, I've had some help with uh, an, another couple of brothers and sisters. Hey, um, Jess, can you make me host so I can share? I love you too, Nadine. I'll try to answer questions in the chat. Jeanette, love you guys. Cindy, Carol, Denise, Let's see. Cheryl, please show. What is Cheryl saying? Please show. Oh, the seals. What do you say? 
Is it the prodigal son? He confirmed in another message where the prodigal sons. Sorry, I was reading over that. Why you're reading? Yeah, all of the videos that every one of his chosen ones have made is the movie. That's what I uh, was shown. Are okay. you able to make me so I can uh, respond to comments without losing them? Someone. You can just go in the live chat and, and comment. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is this is where I'm at. Okay. Matino, what's your YouTube channel? Put that in I'll, there. Sorry. I'll add her. I'll, I'll add her to it to the okay. moder as a moderator. Okay. Okay, this is where I'm at, and I'm showing you a visual because um, it's a lot easier to explain looking at it. Um, with the help of other another brother and sister, um, glory to God. Um, I don't know if Cornerstone Watchman is still on here, but um, he actually has an excellent video explaining the reason why the seals and the trumpets start at seven and actually go to one and they align with each other as well as the vials actually continuing one through seven um so the revelation that that i had been receiving is that this the seventh seal is actually only the silence in heaven it doesn't start it's not um, in addition to the seven trumpets starting. So he, the Holy Spirit um, had said that the, that a trumpet sounds off each seal. So where I'm at now is the, the seventh seal and the um, seven or the seventh trumpet, they go together. And then it also coincides with the first vial. Okay. So I've written it out this way. Okay. So it's the seventh seal, seventh trumpet, first vial, six seal, sixth trumpet, second vial or bowl of wrath. Okay. Vials, bowls of wrath. Fifth seal, fifth trumpet, third vial, and then all the fours fourth seal fourth trumpet fourth vial third seal third trumpet fifth vial second seal second trumpet sixth vial wow. and then first seal first trumpet seventh vial wow cassie he's squeezing my hand so tight he's confirming everything you're saying right now hallelujah so the next thing I did is because we know, like he, he speaks to me through numbers. If you've seen any of my videos, you know how, how he does. And it's not just me. It's just, it's now it's Mandy. It's also McKenna. Um, so what I did is I wanted to look up these numbers. So in Hebrew and Greek, this is what I do every time I see a number. And so, so these are what the numbers mean in Hebrew all the way down. Cause you, you know, they all go to get, like the sealed trumpet and vial one goes like each go together. If you can see how I am, um, how I have them ordered again through revelation of the Holy spirit. Okay. Um, and then, and then he let, he's been speaking to all of us a lot about, reading from end backwards and it mirrors what how how they read and write in hebrew okay there's a reason why he's done that and again with the help of the other brother and sister again glory to god um i now have at least a general understanding of why this is. And so I, I wanted to share a, um, a drawing that another sister did. Um, there's a lot more to this. I'm only going to share the basic stuff right now. Cause there's, there's so many layers guys. Okay. So if you take these numbers, all right. So it, so the, so it starts with seven, seven, one. So the seventh trumpet seventh i'm sorry seven seal seven trumpet first vial and it ends with the first 
seal, first trumpet, seventh vial. And so it mirrors, so beginning and then the end, okay? And then you do that with all the numbers, and then um, they all converge at 444. 444 means man or mankind. And so if you if you put it into perspective, he says that um, he tells the end from the beginning, okay? And so the way it was explained with Cornerstone Watcher, which is brilliant, praise God, is um, carnally we read left to right, or we, or his words were, we count up to judgment. God counts down from judge, so it starts there and counts down, okay, from judgment and counts to eternal life, right? And so, um, so she wrote this out. And so, basically, what she was saying, this, this, uh, the sister was that it was a mirror or reflection of each other because they converge in the middle. So um, you can think of Revelation this way. So Revelation, um, the midpoint, and I say midpoint as far as just how it works. Com it it all starts with Revelation twelve, and it kind of goes out. Okay, like it starts there and it converges from there. Um, and then if you read Revelation twenty two, like we've been talking about, and you start it there, and then you start at the bottom and go up, then it pictures where we are um, as far as the rapture, the rapture about to happen, and the reward for those who are diligently abiding in Him, seeking Him, and and are saved by grace through faith. Okay, and so. Um, I hope I'm explaining this uh, well enough, but um, what's interesting about it is um, because it's a mirror reflection, you can see how it, how it, it goes, it goes around here. Um, because, so in other words, no matter which way you go, you, you have the end from the beginning or the beginning from the end. Like it all converges at the same point is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, so let's just go back to this. So these are some of the meanings. Um, and this is, I was just kind of playing around with the words. And the other aspect I found was that it seems to formulate a sentence. Um, or it tells a story. And again, this is only one aspect. And so this is what I got from it. And I wrote, starting from bottom, going all the way up, Gentiles or the two witnesses, they speak truth boldly to man or mankind. They look for despite, look for or despite danger and weakness, perform signs, miracles, and wonders where corrupt become courageous and abstain from the mark to obtain eternal life. So this is literally a picture of what is going on with tribulation. Um, there's al also very interesting um, information still more to this. And so it's more when I get more revelation and I'm more solid on the other meanings, I will do another video, you know, Lord willing. So um, maybe difficult to understand. I'm so sorry if it is. But the main point I wanted to, to show is that these are the orders of the seals, trumpets, and vials. And then there's something to the meaning of these numbers. So I hope that I hope that comes across. Mandy says we can see you walking. Sorry, I um I had to take my dog out, my min pin. But do you guys want to see where the light show was? This is where it was. <laughs> you can't really see, but this is my my little deck. And then it was like over here. Is it dark? Yeah, you can't see anything. That's where I filmed it, like right out there. Literally, it was only in one spot in the backyard. It was definitely, definitely God showing up, making his presence. 
Okay. Um, so is that is that it? <laughs> That's it for me. I don't want to I don't want to keep pushing it because I want to wait for the Holy Spirit to give me more solid confirmation yeah, on other fine. things. So did we go over all the signs? I've been distracted a little bit with the all the messages. <laughs> we went over. Uh, okay, good. Um well good. Do you guys have any questions? Uh do you have an email? Yeah, um, seek heavenly things at gmail.com. I have like 700 emails right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying guys it's so tough to like answer emails I try to so guys I've been answering comments on YouTube and they've been deleting my comments it's so frustrating I'll spend hours answering everyone's comment and giving them prayers or whatever and then I'll write something and then I go out it's gone and it's so frustrating so that's not me for the ones who say I delete their comments that's YouTube because they delete my comments too so, I love you too. Fire. Okay. Fire of the Holy Spirit. We love you. We are almost home. Yes, we are almost home. Guys, I would not do any of this if I didn't believe. I 100% believe it is It is Monday um, at, what did we say, 11.53 a.m. Eastern time? Because... Like I said, God has never asked me to yell, I'm coming in a restaurant before. And then he shook me. You guys saw he shook me in the video and he had the message and his wrath. So, you know, God is love. You know, in the Bible, you see him, he goes back and forth. Wrath, love, wrath, love. But soon there is no more love. It's just going to be all wrath. He comes back like a lion. And you know, he gets upset. Think about it. I mean, if you were mocked for thousands of years and rejected, I mean, he's God, so he's way better than us, but I'm just, I mean, I, I can't imagine. We see all that evil, but can you imagine what God sees? And, um, anyway. Yeah. Stuff that's happening to children, the A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N in the, in America and all over the world, like he sees it all, you know, I mean, that's just two terrible examples, but you know. So, Joy, um, this is what God told me. God said it was May 22nd. I didn't get the time. I just got May 22nd. Now, there was a believer that got a dream that was 1853, okay? Um, I didn't, I'm pretty sure it is 1853 because it matches in the heavens and they, you know, God speaks to them as well. And God gave me 1838 and the message because he was trying to show me the sickle, which is amazing. I wouldn't have like tell them about that real quick, Jeff, the uh, 1838 sign. So I was doing the video. I was reading God's message. And then all of a sudden um, I had said, oh, OK, the time is 1838. And then I I got off done the video and I was like, oh, no, I messed up. I didn't say 1853. And the Lord shook me and I said, and I listened and he said, no, my child, do not change it. Do not change it. So I didn't change it. Um, and then I asked him why. And he and he said, I felt the urge to go look it up at Stellarium, but I don't have a Stellarium app. So I called Jeff because she's our Stellarium queen. And she told me it was the sickle. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Jesus comes with a sickle in his hand. So I randomly said 1838 and didn't even know about why I said it I just said it and it was ends up being the sickle and that's it's interesting because you know he said in a previous message the sickle tree I don't remember the message because they're not my words I have to go back and read it but um yeah so. uh, real quick I just want to clarify okay so let me explain real quick why 1853 in Jerusalem so with scripture, everything is centered around Israel. Okay. And so that is just how the father works. Okay. So, so when I was talking even earlier about, you know, how, how things, uh, it'll start somewhere and it kind of centers out. That's why. So, um, so you, that's why it's a uh, Jerusalem time. Okay. So, I hope that that helps to explain. So you just find your time zone. 
from there. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll wait for Mandy to come back and we can, we can go ahead and pray. <laughs> yeah. So many were asking for prayer. I'm going to pray for every, uh, person corporately because the chat goes so fast. I, I can't get everybody's name. I'm sorry. There was somebody who was struggling with, um, trauma from abuse. So they specifically asked. So I think that's a really nice thing to pray for, for sure, too. Okay. Okay. Um, are y'all are y'all ready for that? And we'll just end it with with a uh, prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, is McKenna gone? I think she's still here. Oh. Okay. I'm still here. I was uh doing comments. I have to move out of my bedroom because my husband kicked me out too. My man has to go to bed for work. <laughs> Yeah, my husband kicked me out too. All right, y'all, let's pray. <clears throat> okay. Father, in Yeshua's mighty name, we come before you and we humble ourselves at your feet. We praise you, we honor you, and we glorify you. You are lifted up above every principality, power, and might. May you be magnified in all the earth, above the earth, and below the earth. Take all the glory for yourself, for you are the potter, we are merely the clay. May we have ears to hear and eyes to see, and a heart softened to know your voice, and to hear every every word, and it, and it stick with our spirit. Abba, we just we praise you and thank you for ministering to us tonight. We praise you for all the work that has been done for our salvation through Yeshua. We we believe that he died on the cross, rose again three days later, and he is now at your right hand. He is our high priest, and he is our advocate. And we just praise you for that, and we thank you. All glory. I want to lift up every single person in our chat on the on the um, live stream and any person who happens to watch later, lift them up right now. And I just pray that your Holy Spirit just fill them from head to toe. I pray, Abba, that you just grant them peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that you grant them revelations, dreams, all of all of the confirmation that they need in order to know you and to understand what the spirit is saying right now in this hour i pray for healing over every single person struggling with um any wounds any um uh uh chronic comorbid conditions uh copd diabetes um chf or congestive heart failure, anything. I pray, Abba, that you align every single organ in, in their bodies to work properly and to heal them fully right now in the name of Yeshua. We pray for every single person that could be in a situation that they are experiencing mental, emotional, uh, physical abuse. We pray, Abba, for your grand deliverance we pray abba that you place them place a hedge of protection so strong tall and thick around them that the enemy cannot even penetrate we pray that whatever situation is going on right now that whomever is the other party that you soften their heart you open their eyes and you have them see what what they are doing and we pray for complete repentance on their part we pl- we pray for eyes and ears to be open we pray for your love and grace to encompass every single person. We pray for the ones who do not know you. We pray for their eyes and ears to be open. We pray that they hear your voice and they act on hearing your voice. They get on their knees, they humble themselves, and they receive Yeshua. They receive him as their Lord and Savior. We pray, Abba, that that you just minister to every single person who even just needs encouragement right now 
for all the ones who are worried that they have failed you and fallen short, we pray, Abba, that you just, you, you just remind them how much you love them and that this is the reason why Yeshua came. This is why he died and rose again three days later is for exactly that. We pray, Abba, that you just show them in whatever ways that they need, how much you love them. We pray for that, that sign to lift them up. And then on top of that, we bind every single plan from the enemy to come against your chosen people. We bind every single spirit of infirmity, uh, doubt, depression, anxiety. We, we pray all of those away. They be cast back to the pit in which they've come. Any evil spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, confusion, delusion, um, mental illness, we they have to go. They have to flee. Cast them to the pit in which they've come with nothing to be sent in their place. Abba, we just, we lift you up. We glorify you and we thank you for the great healing. We thank you for the encouragement. We thank you for eyes and ears and hearts to be open to you. We thank you, Abba, for you, for being our father, for, for just loving us. We, we love like you love. And every single person, no matter what, we love them because you loved us. We praise you, honor you, and glorify you in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Sorry, guys. Davi was walking all over the place. He's blind. And so he uh, gets very rested. This is his bedtime. He's like a little baby on your lap. Like. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I love this dog. He's going to be in heaven, though. God, you know, um, he said that animals would be safe. Ecclesiastes 318 through 322. He gave me that we're all the same spirit and we go to the same place. And then yesterday or two days ago, I was in the car. I love you too, Dobby. Um, <laughs> I saw Simba in the clouds. That was my other dog who I had to put down. And clear as day, his face showed up in the clouds. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I started getting a message from Jesus today other than the one that he gave me online. And um, he was saying how the heavens are opening up. So we're going to feel it in our spirit a lot more. Um, let's see. I can just go to it real quick. Tell me. You're getting a little nervous. Sorry. Um, okay, so look at me. My child, waves are coming, tsunami waves. It starts on the Caribbean island, then the Gulf of Mexico. The shift in the atmosphere, it's going to pull the gravity. Green skies are coming everywhere. The magnetic centricity is going to create rainbow colors in the skies. I told you it's going to be very beautiful, but very ominous at the same time. My children and chosen ones, you are going to feel everything in your spirit. I have opened up the heavens. So you will see my glory. You are going to feel the magnetic pull towards heaven. The earth is going to shift, causing seismic activity. Seismic, um, seismic activity. Are you awake yet? I am coming. I love you. I'm opening up the windows of heaven. I'm pouring out the blessings. I told you in the end times I would pour out my spirit. My child, the door is the key. I gave you the key to my kingdom. I gave you the key to my salvation. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? I am your redeemer. I am your rescuer. Come to me, child. Let me give you rest. Let me take away your burdens. Nukes, my child. Nukes are going to hit. Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, New Orleans will be no more. I will destroy the wicked. My judgment is here. My wrath is here. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one poison the mind of my children. I am your creator. I am the Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end. I am coming. I am coming, my people. And then that was it. Some of that was during the live feed, but most of that, like half of it was in the morning, this morning. So, But he's not finished. Trust me, I'll probably be up to like 3 a.m. Um, anyway, I think that was it. Um, McKenna, you want to sing us a song? <laughs> Put her on the spot. I can't. My kids are still awake. It's really late. <laughs> They're watching some loud movie. Sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. No worries. 
I can never. But, but I will on our next live. Are we having one more live before Monday? Or no? Spirit lead. Spirit led. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, if he if he leads us to do so, Lord willing. Maybe we could do like an evening uh, Sunday worship live or something. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We could. For sure. For sure. Guys. No. Okay. Please, please, please take everything back into prayer. Um, our job. This is what I said on my video today. My our job is to plant seeds and to deliver the message. Your job is to go and seek it, seek him, pray, ask for confirmation. I, I can't say that enough, guys. Please go ask for confirmation, pray, worship. That's how he talks to us. He will do the same for you. This no matter what, anything that we say or what you what you see on this on these channels should always prompt you to go back into the word and to go back into prayer and worship and ask and talk and learn with the Father. Okay. Yes, always, always take everything to Jesus, guys, because we're we're human. You know, I, I do the best I can. Um, but like I say, I always go over it with God before I, I release anything because he kind of lets me know. Um, but I've learned to print it out instead of rewrite it. <laughs> I make a lot less more mistakes. I notice when I write it down instead of printing it from after I type it and then get the scriptures for it. Um, if I if I just print it, it's, it's a lot better. Um, so I was trying to find... Um, something that i wrote for the lord but i just i really cannot even think of the name of the song I was going to sing us out really quick i can't, i haven't sang in so long because i've just been doing god's messages lately it's like it i have my one christian song that i could do it's called rescue me um i guess i'll do that one but i really wanted to i love the two new ones that the day that the lord oh wait maybe i found it oh, maybe not um so this, there's two songs that I wrote for Jesus. And that was the night he poured his, I literally took off work that day and it was December 30th. And, um, I was, Oh, I think I found it. I was, uh, just pouring my, um, heart out to Jesus, just literally bowing at his feet and praying and singing and worshiping. And he gave me two songs and it was just awesome. It was just such an awesome day. I just loved it so much. Um, so I think I haven't sang this one in a while, but I can try to wing it. Um, okay. If you take a look around, you created the heavens and the earth and the light you shine down to stop the darkness for good. You created our hearts with the right and the wrong. You gave us life with the breath in us. You played on the cross and you poured out your love. You created the skies and the stars above. So why do we lie to you? Why do we deny you? And we come to you broken with your arms wide open. You never leave us, and we don't trust, but you're always quick to stay. And we're ungrateful and never thankful, but you love us anyway. Yes, you love us anyway. <laughs> I wrote that for Jesus. Um, um, he gives I, me songs too since I was a little girl, but now they're about him. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, cool, guys. Well, the next live, I'll sing the other one that I wrote. I can't find it right now. I can't even remember the name. This is my favorite one, though. I just, I just totally forgot. Or in heaven. 
Yes, in heaven. But I, I'm hoping, you know, maybe the Lord will lead us to do the live, like, right, you know, <laughs> disappear on the screen. That would be kind of cool, right? <laughs> yeah, um, it's during um, <laughs> started an hour before and <laughs> can you I imagine know. it would be live recording? That would be funny. That would be I'm awesome. Like a thousand people just disappearing. <laughs> We're really gonna oh, pray about glory it. To God. <laughs> We're really gonna pray about it and see if that's you know what Jesus wants us to do or whatever. Um so we'll see. You know, I'm like I said, I'm pretty confident. I don't feel like this is like a mess up for God's calendar or anything like that or a precursor. I just, you know, you feel it in your spirit. And then, yeah, of course, all and the so many question, so many who question when I told them they should pray for a sign, they've been getting signs nonstop now. Oh my gosh. Yes. Everyone is. It's amazing. Um, I mean, I can't tell you how many times, I mean, even bowling tonight. Okay, guys, um, we started a bowling league like a while ago. My husband and I, we were practicing. My husband didn't have 227, but I'm not kidding. It it appeared 227 in front of my eyes on the board. And then I looked back and it said 157. <laughs> uh, but I know I saw 227 and um, I was like, whoa. And all day, all day today, every single time, like every time I went on Cassie's video, it said 2.2 thousand views. You know, um, I have probably actually I can let me just show you real quick. OK, so well, this is Cassie's face. <laughs> She'll get mad if I oh, just show you that. It. <laughs> so this it. One, oh, that's the video. No, I'm not going to do it, Cassie. Just going to show everybody all the okay. confirmations. I have it. this like it's my whole life people will randomly snap pictures of me and I've always got the worst face I think it's awesome but these are no matter who it is some of these are common okay so she said my message got removed that wasn't me by the way it was YouTube from your previous video and this was saved by grace if you're on here I was the one who saw a face in the clouds and unaware took the photo yesterday at 522 also today at work, I was decorating the bathroom and removed the drawers and found a ticket with 20 second taken at 1122. Also unaware at the of the time, I have uploaded short with proof. I'm telling the truth yesterday. I prayed for confirmation on the 22nd. Do you think this could be the confirmation? Okay, um, let me just read a couple more and then we'll we'll end this. <laughs> Guys, tell me that's not a lion. That is a lion. Do you see the lion? Now look, watch. Look up close. Do you see the people floating up? That was in my backyard, the light show. That is literally the rapture. Okay, um, and then Jesus' face. Guys, look at this. It's so much easier to see. So this looks like Jesus nailing down and praying. Guys, this was in my backyard. It's so exciting. Okay, and then literally, okay, hold on. This but at the same time, I see that as his beard or like like facial hair, not long, but like a facial hair almost and like his yeah. profile like this. Now look, hold on. Wait, oops. Um, so the face, I think I have a better face. Hold on, let me look. I had to blow up some just so you could kind of see it. See it's weird because, you know, it did not show up at first. Like I'm telling you when I was clipping it, it's almost like they just kept coming. And then I saw it again. And then I saw a horse, but I didn't see the horse the first time, but look at this guys. This is a dragon. That is a dragon literally about to devour the baby <laughs> or try to, we know he doesn't get him in revelation 12. Um, look, okay, look at the face. So you see the father, or you see the sun nail, um, kneeling, but also if you look at like a 3D kind of thing, you see his face, why he's kneeling. It's almost like one of those delusional pictures or whatever. This was all on my phone, guys, the clips. Um, uh, look, another picture of the dragon. Look at that, guys. I'm sorry, that's so amazing. I just, I still can't get over the slideshow. Okay, here's one of, 
you can really, let's see, I want to try to look at his face. You can see like there's multiple ones, like the eyes right there, and then it goes down or another one where you can see him kneeling with prayer. But if you look at it from far away, you can kind of, it, it's, you really have to have eyes to see, but I see his lips. And a lot of times when I'm praying, I close my eyes and I'll see Jesus's lips. You know, some people see his feet, but I see his lips. Um, and then look, not storming outside, guys. This is what it was like. Now this was on night mode, but um, just absolutely amazing. And then Cassie, I'll move your thing. I'll cover Cassie's face, but two, <laughs> 2 2.1, 2.1 views. Okay, that was one. 222 emails. Oops, hold on. 222 emails. 1222 on the clock. 622 on the clock. Um, 33. Hold on. Let's see. Jesus showed me, look at this comment. Jesus showed me a face of a woman two weeks ago. Please believe me when I say this. It was your faith. I just found you two days ago. Praise our Holy Father. <laughs> um, the 22nd of May, Savan 2 is marked on the Jewish calendar as Yum. Oh, yeah. 2.2. 2.2. Oh, wait. Ours is 2.2? The one we're doing now, the live, that's so amazing. Guys, I'm telling you, 522 means to lift off, take away. Um, this was a little videos that I had done previously. And look, guys, 05, okay, 0223, um, literally 5522 five, at the bottom. See, this was months ago when I made these videos for TikTok. Um, I mean, I it's amazing. I, I couldn't make this up. If I tried, God is good. Look at the message, guys. Look how many twos. Can you see it? Because it's kind of, is it too bright? Put it closer, I think. It'll even out, maybe. No, it's the light right here. Hold on, let me move this. Let me move the. I have too many lights around me. No, it's not working on this one because it's white. So let's see. It says may in the paragraph may be saved so you may believe like <laughs> that was god <laughs> all right god i can't believe it's one o'clock almost i guess we gotta wrap it up but yeah <laughs> guys we love you thank you so much for being here i need to actually go back on the live and bit on there in a minute we really appreciate everything guys and um our lord love you guys he's coming because what <laughs> Our God is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above our God, is an awesome, awesome God, God he reigns. Oh, let's do it here, I'm you sorry. repeat after me, I'll sing it, then you go. Wait, Our let's do God. Yeshua, <laughs> can we do the Yeshua one? Yeshua, ah, ah. You know that one? No, but I can. I can no, improv. Yes, I, I can improv. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. I hate my voice is really dry. Out. No, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's just YouTube makes it cut out. It does it to me. Too, oh, sorry. I need water right now, too. <laughs> but God bless you guys. Praise God. Sorry, guys. Thank yes. coming. We love you guys. Okay. God yeah, bless. Guys. God, bless you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Good night. Heart. I can't do a heart. Okay. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs>